Hello everyone, Connor here. Just as a small disclaimer, some things we may talk about on the pod shouldn't be attempted or recreated. Remember to keep everything legal, keep it between the ages, and don't tear up the ground while you're on the pole. What's crack everyone? Welcome to the Limited Slip Differences podcast, the podcast where myself, Connor, and... Michael. Todd. I didn't realise you were going to introduce me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why the introductions are shite Just cock Either he's caught off Or he's saying I'm saying it too quick And then you're like Welcome to the Lambo that slap differences But anyway um, Podcast where we talk all things Farming, cars, tractors Usual shite, shite by this stage Aye. What episode are we on now? 22 See to, be I'll save you the See to be fair right Me and Donald know absolutely Fuck all about farming I mean <laughs> That's alright Because this, this is a car related uh, podcast okay. So every third podcast We do a tractor slash farming related one, and that was the last one. Ah, so right you're all good this time, right? Good. So that's why we'll try and work with me and no topic. Idea. All my notes are well, actually, two of my, half of my notes are about farming, but anyway, sure, I fuck was it. sure that's the tail end. Aye, ah, fuck it. Uh, well, Michael, what is new with your sale? Well, before you do that, are you not going to just the guess? Sorry, fuck us, <laughs> right? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm still shaking this. Rude um, rude bastard. So right. this week we're joined by Donald Holmes and Jimmy, Jimmy Keys. I wasn't sure if you'd remember Jimmy Surrey. <laughs> <laughs> no one does. Everyone spells it wrong too. Like Jimmy really? got at me on Facebook recently. Oh right. Well, uh, sure. After the day I shot the bucket at you up in the quarry. <laughs> Aye. No, it was, a, no it was after that. I think. Uh, you I, I know, well, so obviously it would be after that, that day. Uh, after. I see, in fairness, I tortured so many people that day. <laughs> it was good for charity. I know, Jim. Oh, we have nothing. Shit, shit. Run to the car, get some. And then you're like, no, no, sorry, sorry, no worry about it. <laughs> You were standing in the middle while people were duffing as well. I have a good video of Connor Anderson duffing around me. Uh, <laughs> just shaking me the shaking the bucket. They pulled out a fiver and actually put a fiver in the bucket. Well, it's one hand in the wheel, one hand <laughs> dropping in. Oh. A skill, boys. That was skill, like. <laughs> right. Well, we'll jump on then at first section. What's new? Do you know what? I'll be dead on because Connor forgot about you. I I'll didn't. Ju- I'm not that stupid, <laughs> like, but yes, I still am that stupid. Anyway, I'll, s- right. I'll shut up. No crack, boys. Anything new you really used recently? Absolutely. Fuck all. Absolutely nothing. What up, you? You born bastard. I know. <laughs> I'm getting old, hey? Oh, uh, fuck. I don't, don't, I don't think you're getting old. Don't I know. <laughs> Connor's going grey. He's wearing a hat to cover the grey hair. It's all right. I have a hairline that's receding on one side. I've, I'm going here. Like, that's great because the camera angle points down. Whereas if I was like in film from up here, you'd just see this the camera, that, that white light there, that white light there, just be. <laughs> I'm going from the front to the like. behind then. Huh? I'm going from the front to the front behind. <laughs> what about me? Any receding hairline yet? No, not yet, sir. Not yet. You're only a wee in, boy. Have you reached puberty yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm what still did fresh. you get ID for the other day, or is it you who got ID? Oh, Jimmy. Uh, Went down to uh, B&M Bargains. Maybe huh. some screen wash. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> Fuck ADs for screen wash. B and M bargains. Out of curiosity, you're not just like this is a driving license. Clearly, I need fucking screen they wash. They must have thought he was going to start drinking it or something. I, I, say, I think. <laughs> do they? Do they do it so they just think right? This boy might be special enough to think this is actually like Kool Aid or something. That's what I thought. She said, "Have you got any ID there?" I looked at her and I said, "For screen wash, seriously?" And she goes, "Are we operate Think twenty five policy." I said, as flatter as I am, that I think uh, that you think I'm younger than I am, but like, it's screen wash. <laughs> Catch yourself on. I like know. I've heard about energy drinks, but screen wash. I got hit for ID for Red Bull. <laughs> <as well. laughs> yeah. And you know what? It was before I shaved, and I had like a beard and a mustache, and I was hit for ID. That's like actually tragic. I know. I don't think I've been hit for ID since I was like 15. Do you know what makes it even worse? I didn't even have ID on me, so they couldn't sell me. <laughs> <laughs> Even <laughs> fucking worse. <laughs> the whole shop stand looking at me. Me, oh, I thought it was a red bull. <laughs> was you tragic. Was sick. You didn't even get a red bull. No, I didn't even get a that red bull. That is tragic. <laughs> but hey, they would have sold you a coffee. Are they would have actually. I right. don't drink hot drinks. I know, but like, they would have sold you a coffee. But sure, fuck all difference between a coffee and a red bull. Well, there probably is actually, but I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. Hold on. Now you're in <laughs> the prime. He didn't get oh, we're already advertised on this. It's Prime. Don't lose a shareholder on it. <laughs> I wish I you was. I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> Do you? I, sh- I've only, I, think I hope I've that's not one of your balls all the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stress ball. Why do you have a stress ball on this podcast? It's always in my pocket for work. All right, I thought you were going to say you're going to dump it off someone's head. Balls, I, I just fidget with. Hey! hey. 
<laughs> right back to, no cracker you then don't you're bound you're, you of all people are bound to have done something interesting recently Saturday we're at the Harvest Rally and then drifting then that night on private roads private roads I don't I, I don't want to probe too much because obviously I don't want to ruin things but um, do you just pack like a sort of a private road and close the road somewhere like outside Letter Kenny and clo- close it and nah close it what weekend was it we all went oh uh, two two for Stephen's leaving day Aye. was this the one of like you coming around the road and the white twinkie was doing yeah. all that was class I was watching all that that was class it was Gareth and the Moonstone Lexus he ah, went out too. and he carried some speed hey, no one has a video of him going up at first oh, I don't really? I was sitting on with him mm-hmm. and I thought uh, what you probably didn't see in that video was the telegraph pole on the private road on yeah, the private yeah, road yeah. Yeah. It, was a private, yeah. it was a private telegraph pole <laughs> He actually owned, it was his legality it was reasons. His, it was his telegraph. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. You don't have nothing in that telegraph. No, 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 no. He actually put it there. It was like farming simulator. Uh, <laughs> he bought a decoration just for. The he, he got all the government subsidy signs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. And his own map. <laughs> uh, so he went up. I think you were actually in the car. You have the in car of it. No, I didn't get the in car because I was too God, scared. I thought he had wrapped it. Seriously, uh, I swear to God. Was it? Was it? Was it like talent? Was it balls or was it stupidity? Talent and balls. That was all three. And a bit of... Mm. Yeah, well, balls is... If you pull it off, it's ballsy. If you don't pull it off, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if you do something stupid but it works, you're like, you're ballsy. Mm. If you fuck it up, everyone just goes, oh, you're fucking... So it was even that first private road that's up a mountain outside Bunkrana. Not my more gap. So is that not- the one where we done the Sierra on? Yeah. Ah, that's class. Yeah, no, it is. It's mm. the one I've seen you, the mm. videos. It's unreal. I'd love to get up there and on our own. Like, no, as you're coming down that, you have the s bands. Oh, aye. Loads of them. Aye, the private s bands. Yep. So yep. he was going down there and some man was coming in to do a wee bit of work up on the top of ah. the road. And he seen it in the van. Ah. Coming up the road and the van wasn't stopping and he wasn't stopping. Ah. So his solution was to wigger on. And I watched it. I don't know how the fuck he got that Lexus turned. I don't know how. My heart was in my throat again. <laughs> Probably one of the best pilots in the Lexus. Just to be saying, no, I should just get a wee sign and get Brian to make me up government subsidy and see if I get a hundred grand <laughs> every year. Jesus, I could, I could blow through a hundred grand, no bother. Like, you give me, I could live in gov- government subsidy. For anyone who doesn't know what a government subsidy <laughs> sign is, there's a game called Farming Simulator. But if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably half aware of that. Um, basically, it's a cheat you can put on the game and it gets you like money every hour. 100 grand, grand every year. Is it 100,000? Do, uh, do what I do, you speed the time up to. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, time to 120 times time speed. Yeah, time speed uh, 22 <laughs> allows you to go times 360. <laughs> 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 you, just you just literally sit, go make a coffee or something like that, come back, a whole day's went by, you've got 2.4 million, you're just like deadly. deadly. I wish it was as easy in real life, boys. You know what yeah. I do in farming simulator? What do you do? I spend ages and build this big mad farm. Right. Don't even do any farming. Don't have a clue about it. Build this big mad farm and a couple of lorries and stuff. Uh huh. Messed about, done it for about half an hour, and then just don't look at it again. <laughs> That's kind of like what I used to do with the Sims. I'd build a house and never look near it again. Like I bet you, you put your swim- sim in the swimming pool and then remove the ladder. Oh, one hundred percent. What I used to do in the inner games is because I didn't have the ladder. What you used to do was you built, you put the swimming pool, got, you built the swimming pool in the garden. And then you used to get them to jump on, and then you built a wall around the <laughs> and then you couldn't get out. And another thing you used to do was when your sim was, uh, <laughs> you used to make your sim have really bad cooking points. <laughs> so when they tried to cook dinner, they would set the thing on fire. And in the old sim games, because it was like basically like a square per like where they could move, because they could never go diagonally or nothing. So what you basically used to do was like maybe put the cooker here and a chair here and a tabletop here and something else there and basically they'd be standing and they'd just be looking at this fire and the fire and eventually engulf them <laughs> the only time I've ever played Sims or seen someone play Sims it was the mobile game and you just went around as a fella and just chatted everything that moved chatted them up and then you caused rows I know Connor McGowan similar or no <laughs> no <laughs> What are you trying to insinuate here, Michael? Huh? Saying nothing. <laughs> no. Well, huh? did any of you ever play the Goat Simulator? Yes. yes. Oh my uh, God. Yes. yes. Amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. Michael game. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> you throw something up and it just comes up. Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> or like you just randomly run up and like ram people and you just send them. Aye. 
or like there's this random part, part where you go trying to keep it car related there's this random bit where you go out into like this dirt road and there's a person like I drive dri- around on the dirt track and you try to lick them uh, <laughs> she gets the car she lick them you come round the corner he slides and he just fire, fires you for fucking miles it's just like <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable best we we want do we you were there that night Adam McC- we like, pressured know. Adam McCartney into buying it Oh, I bought it too at this stage too. All right, well, it was twelve ninety nine for the three sixty. No, it was four pounds. Oh, oh, whenever oh, we, whenever Adam, whenever Adam got it, and we just sat one night and just laughed ourselves stupid playing goat simulator. Like, it's. I remember, whenever I was younger, my man and dad got me a PlayStation One. Yes. And I remember I saved up to buy the wee screen, and I could plug into the car cigarette lighter. And it was a PlayStation 1 portable. That's right, I remember brilliant. them. I remember them. It was brilliant. So it was Did you ever have the PSP? Yes. I f- they changed did my you life. Did ever have like Game Boy Advance? No, I never did. You used to get a wee magnifying thing with two lights. What about the and Game that, Boy Color? Play. Game, I had a Game Boy Color. I had GTA in the Game Boy Color. Didn't and even know how to play GTA. And it just locked down from yes. above. Uh, and he used to like jump in the car and try and drive about. And then... like. When you shot a gun, like it looked like you were shooting harpoons at people because yes. <laughs> the bullets were like, <laughs> <laughs> the bullets were about three meters long. Speaking of games, right? Here we go. What is your opinion on GTA Six coming up? It'll be the biggest game ever. Aye, aye. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be what ten years in the making. Yep. Yeah, GTA Five not coming out twenty thirteen. Aye, yep. I can't wait. Like I Do was you know in what? Greenmount I, playing it in the PS Three. I got a PS3 as well. I, I'm actually kind of scared in case it is a letdown. Because so GTA I. 4 was class. And then GTA 5 came out. And then they had it that the three different characters. So that mm-hmm. added like a whole new level to it. Yep. But the thing is, I feel like Rockstar spent that much time fanning about online gaming. Yeah. Like, and they trying to re- release DLC for GTA 5. Yep. But then they went against that and just went and put everything onto the online. Mm-hmm. So that's, you're kind of sitting there going, like, what's. Like G- I, f- I nearly think GTA Five got out of hand. Like it did, uh, some of the stuff, especially online. Ah, it's online. 100%. It's you have all this year fucking shite like <laughs> flying motorbikes and all. Exactly. <laughs> what Aye. the fuck? And I spent thirty pound one Christmas just to buy one because I was sick of uh, being killed by people who once. So <laughs> you spent thirty pound of your own money Aye. on GTA. Aye. Jesus Christ. Well, that's just, I spent well, far more than £30 on GTA. Well, that sounds a bit right, but it used to be back in the day you had to actually complete missions to get games. Now Aye. they're just like uh, pay sh- up, boys. Shark cards. Aye. <laughs> or you could just put down a government substance, I say. <laughs> and you buy could. lots of tractors. And buy right. lots of tractors. That's what we do. That's it. Aye. Deadly. Right. And a new Wii U, Michael, then. Aye. <laughs> You're forgetting about yourself. <laughs> First, the slave cylinder and the mat, bro. Mary's down. Mary's hurt. <laughs> I, okay, right. So you boys, As if you weren't bad enough to marry. You boys, uh, you does not know this. Basically, about two or three podcasts ago, um, I bought a loader uh, for the farm, and uh, the fella who I got her off in Cork called her Mary, so the name stays. So she's so if I refer to Mary, it's not a female. It is mm-hmm. my 1983 um, Mapro. Uh, what was the hashtag you came up for it? There's something about Mary. Ah, uh, there's uh, also <laughs> Mighty Mary. <laughs> So, this is 1983 Map Row Telegram 40C. Uh, she's been around. She's been around. She's. I think there's like something like 17,000 hours on her. She's left at some loads. She's left at some loads. She's taken some loads in her time. So, I. Uh, <laughs> 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 Pun intended. <laughs> I knew what I was doing there. How uh, long have you been waiting to say that? So, I. Uh, so, I burst the, burst the slave cylinder for the, the brakes. So, I was. To be fair, they were shocking. I was tapping uh, bales under the cattle there the other night and uh, I went to put the foot in the brake and she just kept moving. I went, all right, cool. <laughs> I chose to. Death. you mostly done that anyway. You had to, like... Aye, but now it's really bad, like... Are so, you? Um, like, you literally put your foot in the brake, the brake goes to the floor and you just keep moving. It's I hope like, you take someone else's advice then to fix them. Oh, I know she's down in the other shed now, but she also needs... Close the bales where I take her up the road. Yes. If I, now, kind of given the time of year, it's kind of dark. So I'm also fitting lights. So I've spent That's smart, I've spent the last couple of nights out while multimeter just going, where am I getting power? Flicking switches and going, hmm, power here. And then just looking at wires and going, okay. And I'll end up probably rewiring it and it'll be a butcher job, but it'll work. Ready, go. You going to go to the electrical stuff? If, in my opinion, I'm okay. If you ask Ali McClellan, he'll tell you never to let me near anything. <laughs> 
Fancy working on a Lexus? Absolutely not. So what my car is? What's wrong with? It's an electrical problem on wheels. Aye, that's just all Lexuses. Yep. Aye. Radio doesn't work. Uh, all right, that is. The interior lights don't work. Central locking doesn't work. In Red. Fact, Mickey's made out of a vice grip. A standard. Yes. They all they all bust. Mine are the same. Aye. Uh, but were you key banging? No, I don't think I've ever key banged my 300. Thank God. The only time. The reason why my keys. Can broke, you key bang a 300? You probably can, but I still have standard cats and all in there, like, so. I, I don't even know if you might want to try it. Do two fifties have a push button to start? Yes. They and do. how the fuck do you key bang an AST fifty? Did you don't? Did you just they have a did you see map? there was somebody uh, wired the ignition into the horn? I so Alex they can <laughs> they can key bang what, by horning. Was that <laughs> I didn't see that. Seen on TikTok. <laughs> that was, was it? Was it, a, was it a silver Lexus or a black one? I mind your man. No post idea. It. For he just like pushed the horn and then she started and I was like, that's brilliant. And, and then, then so while he's deafened, he just taps the horn and she key bangs. And then he video up him going down the motorway and all too. I said that's, that's ingenious. Sounds dodgy as fuck too at the same time. What is he gonna do? I'm assuming this man maybe doesn't go to the MOT centre. I was gonna say what's he gonna do for MOT, but suppose he can just unhook the wires like so MOT. Is. Oh, in the south? Aye. That's even worse, NCT. Aye. That's bad. NCT is hell. Aye. Aye. That was whenever I was studying mechanics tech. Our lecture he done work on it was a farmer as well. Yes. He was doing work in lorries and stuff. Yes. And he said he had wild baller with NCT. They Aye. Just, they failed son and they took it back and they failed it again son else. They're they, wild for see even emissions testing in the south, like it's a big thing compared Aye. to up here. Like you can kinda of sort of get away with things. Like for instance, like up here, a Mazda R X eight, the last of them, like the most up to date versions of them literally will not pass emissions as a brand new car because of the just the euro codes or whatever comes out Fuck. so they have to basically juke the system to make them pass should so dcats up here pass emissions uh because uh, uh, mm-hmm. they just mm-hmm. test them idle so uh, there's no emissions more or less which is i think fair enough to be honest <coughs> will not complain have you any crack uh i just paid a heifers calvin at home and it's all went okay for so far touch wood and Apart from that there, I'm a born bastard. So we're all born? So that's basically what I'm taking from this? Yeah, pretty much. Aye, uh, pretty okay, much, aye. Uh, good enough. We're all right. retired. I feel like retiring, honestly. Uh, honestly, I wake up every morning and wish that I was retiring. Tell you what, right? See, whenever you're old, well, we're already old, like, see whenever we're older. <laughs> <laughs> whenever we're older. <laughs> we're older and we're retiring. What is the ideal old person's car? Ideal old person's car. Oh, I have my answer. Ah, but hold on, right? Because I think, uh, what is the ideal old person's car? As if I seen an old person driving a car, I'd go, "Of course you're fucking driving that." Avensis. Or, I'd have said a Rover. Or a Vauxhall Agila. A Vauxhall Agila is like the. It's not a oh speed. No, the it's not a speed target. It's a speed limit kind the of Marcus. car. You're always stuck behind them doing twenty-two mile an hour because they're always like, "What's the rush? It's Sunday. It's actually Thursday in the middle of the week, love." All right, we shouldn't be on the road. I'm telling you, ultimate old person's car. Done other than the fate multiplier. I am oh, telling. The internet wants you to think that. <sighs> I'm go. telling you. See if I get one cheap enough, I'm buying it. They're the ones that look shite. Aye, I, they're ugly bastards. Like since I've known Jamie, good. he said he's going to buy a fiat multiplier. Do it. I will. You're feared. I will buy a multiplier <laughs> at some stage if I can right. find one look cheap enough. Look at the camera and see it. Do it. Look at <laughs> the camera. I will buy a fiat multiplier if I can find one. Cheap enough. So the problem is, people convert them so they're wheelchair accessible, and that puts the price of them way up. Ah. I'm actually on the forum page on Facebook for Fiat Multiplus. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone talks Spanish, like, so I need to go to Spain to get a cheap one. Except they're Italian, are they not? It's like for cheap tractors, you go to Spain. That's true. Oh, or France, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's your thinking? Were you I was say thinking, multiple? see, if you're, if you're in Donegal and events, is obviously. Yes, but that then was my thinking. The amount, you of want times, the amount of times you're stuck behind a Nissan Cashkey. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. See, <laughs> see, see, I seen a Nissan Cashkey a couple of weeks ago with a number plate ASZ 6969. <laughs> <laughs> I'd expect, as I said in a, a, a couple of podcasts ago, I'd expect to see that on like. There could be swingers driving that. Ah, <laughs> I'd, expe- I'd expect to see that in the back of like a Lamborghini or an E Class Merc or something. Someone, but like a Nissan Cashkey. ASZ sixty nine sixteen. They know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm near sure of they been at know what they're doing. I came across one a good number plate. Right, 
It's not like I haven't been searching for a past while, but as Michael would say, none of you have seen that, to be honest with you. I've been searching <laughs> for a while. Um, one I seen the Lexus RX 450 Hitch. It was Hitch 11 BJU. <laughs> <laughs> They know what they're at as well, like. Well, they love HJs, don't they? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or RJs. Or, or, or uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. Uh, right, move on to the main topic. Yeah. Deafen. Oh, Claps here needed. We go. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right, so we kind of, basically we needed like a cover up to basically talk, basically put a head over all the shit that we're going to talk. So we needed like a common ground to bring it all back to. We all love Duffin. We all love Duffin. Jamie and Donal are both involved with the quarry. You have heard me talk about it before. I've ranted and raved about the quarry, both good and bad. I've been there once. You've been there. I enjoyed it. I The quarry is one of those places where I actually look back from being younger as I gaze off into the distance. Um... And think about me as a young cub. Fuck, we actually are going back about five or six years ago. I actually do feel old now. Well, I was in England driving tractors. You were different around a sheep pen. Ah. <laughs> but it used to be back in the day, but prior to all your involvement with it, like we used to just go up on like a random six Sunday. Six years ago? Hi, we always used to go up on a random Sunday and we'd just mm. go on. There'd be like three or four people there. Yep. I'm pretty sure Paddy Lynch nearly says Lexus on fire there one night. Common for a Lexus going on fire. Aye. It's just Especially more. turboed ones for some reason. Yeah, big time. King of the Cone. Did you see that? Uh, two years ago. The well, no, two, the two year. turboed uh, last year. Uh, last year. Uh, two turbo uh, we were there. standing right in front of it when uh, it happened. One went there and the next one went there. Uh, we've like, one was a white one, one was a red one. Yes. One of them seemed more saved than the other one. No, they were both saved. They both drove out like. Uh, oh, because mm, it looked like one of them. As soon the as the red up. one was fine. The white one, I think, had a bit more damage. The problem I think with that is what happens is boys have them log manifolds and they've no like they've no like turbo blankets or nothing. Mm-hmm. They just definitely not a turbo car ah. hard. Like it's hard on them. They just get that hot. They just go whoosh. straight up. Yeah, that's any man that goes out wrecking doesn't carry a fire extinguisher with is fucking mental. I never carried a fire extinguisher until. I started carrying one on the Alteza because it was for Eglinton because I seen what had happened with I think it was Paddy Lynch Paddy Lynch put up a video one, or a picture one time of his, he used to have a Lexus and he was trying to chase Roy Thompson around Eglinton and he put up a video saying uh, this is what happens when you try to chase a Lex, uh, chase around Eglinton I think it's power steering like and the whole thing just went <laughs> so up. he lose her? No, no, no. Oh, she was no saved, like. saved. So I after was, that, I started carrying. There's not. There's a fire extinguisher in the Sierra uh, too. Like I always have two in the boot of my Lexus, like always, because the first. But, but I don't think the boots the place to have them. It's not. Uh, uh, they can fall through the floor very handily. Oh, uh, in a Lexus, that's very, <laughs> very possible. Mine, mine yeah, is well no, yes. <laughs> Mine's as well. Completely. Good enough. There's boy, plenty of boys out there that claim that their boot floor is immaculate, and you could literally just look at it and go. So then you see that there, Lexus was filled, eh? They'd cut the bit floor out of it to make it into a jack point, and it was a road car. <laughs> yeah. Why, the thing is, it's not that hard to get a jack under the diff. Yeah. Why just not do that? <laughs> I have no idea. Literally, been to plenty of drift days in the Lexus base chassis. Just like in it was straight up. Aye. Just straight on the diff. Aye. They didn't have a long enough jack. Well, I suppose if you can't it's drive the only it logical on, thing I can uh, think if of. you can't drive mm-hmm. on the blocks. I happen to have my way of getting a car up in the air for a jack underneath it is um hydraulics. No, <laughs> well, <laughs> not the P one hundred, but or not in the Sierra, but uh, P one hundred giving away spoilers here. Um, no, I have like yeah. Do you know? Do you know them ramps that like bo- the, the council bound, bolt down into like the ground? Them stupid wee speed bumps. Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Did you take a Milwaukee to one of those? I didn't take a Milwaukee to them. Somebody I, else took someone a Someone else took a Milwaukee to them and then gave them to me and went, I don't need these, do you want them? And I went, absolutely. That sounds like a perfect idea. See, to be fair, talking about speed bumps there. Red. On the way out, I go, it's not really a speed bump, actually. I can't ask. It's they slow you down and stop you from coming back in the wrong way into Gorgon Glens. So a speed bump? Oh, no, I, no, 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 no. It's like a speed it's, bump it's like with a, a flap way. on top of it. Oh, so oh. whenever you drive, it flows down. But if you try to go the other way, oh, oh fuck them. Yeah, 
the one there at McDonald's in Balmina too. What the stop. fuck is someone going to do? Go around the drive through the wrong way? <laughs> no, it was to stop. The, it's supposed to be a one way, but what all the... That's right. The, the, uh, it's either delivery or Uber Eats drivers were all coming in, like, and uh, they were all flying through the one way, so they had to... <laughs> You just you you'd start to reverse there. You're out. like fuck. Ah, uh, you'd have been driving in. The next thing there'd have been like a like a BMW 320D or something, just firing at you the other way, and you were just like, oh fuck. Aye, uh, class. Common, common enough. So aye, uh, aye, uh, they have that in Gorton Glens now too. Aye, uh, uh, that I That's think that was maybe to stop people from trying to get away. No, so you can still. Well, I found Gorton Glens actually quite difficult to slide in because there's a gradient. Yeah, I found I found Gorton quite difficult to actually throw proper nice control yeah. hoops on. I'm not a good enough pilot. It's but they only used to do the forest drive. The what? The five mile drive around Gorton Forest. No. no, there was a good car park up there. Really? Oh, it was brilliant! They put speed bumps on it now. Oh, and back in the day, it was brilliant. The first time I ever went to a location X, oh, was with now we're done. Private talking. Gorton Glen. Yes. <laughs> But it was wasn't in the big car park. The big car park wasn't even built yet. That was oh. just stone. Oh, and you had to go up around the forest drive to get there. And it was just you probably did you ever see the video? It was on YouTube of the black coop, Duffing around the three boys. Aye. It was in that car park. I went up with Darrell. Going back. I I went up with Darrell Cook. I think it was in the <coughs> Vento. Yes. It had to be in the Vento. Jesus word. Fuck. But it wasn't the multicolored one. He no, had a, he had a they have a blue one. Uh, it like, was a, a, like did Darrell not have a like a. A very baby blue colour one. He's had a few. I think it was his first one anyway. Red. We went up there and I swear it was the first time I was ever at any of that sort of shit. And I was fucking... I remember turning to Daryl and saying, Daryl, if the police come, can we get done here? And he told me, aye, we can all get done for nothing. And me and my young mind was freaking out the whole night. Uh, <laughs> absolutely freaking the fuck out. That sounds about right, actually. But they never came and it was a good night. Because it's private Gorton Glen. Ah, it's private. Do you, do you remember the private? time we were going to Gorton Glen's now in Altesa and uh, there was a white Leon ah. FR went by us. Must have been about a hundred and ten miles an hour. But there was and cars all, coming our way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he Boy. had either balls of steel or he was just Stupid. a very or bad person. No, Chicken other, cheese. N- no, it wasn't <laughs> even. It was it was one night. Uh, we were all in my car park. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one Friday. Night. This is over COVID time. So like literally, no one else had anything to do on a Friday. Nowhere was open. So. And all the time that was country, bunged. The entire country used to go to Oman on a Friday night. Like, that was the place to be. It yeah. was class. Like, you'd have went through the bus depot. And, I mean, you couldn't even get a space to park. It was, it, it was like it was, Evos, twin cams, type R's, all that shit. It was unreal. But that particular night, then, we were like... Uh, Yourself and your friend with the 300. Aye, so a fellow who I work with, he's now in Australia, Anthony Lagan. He was he had an AS300. And... Uh, he was like, here, do you want to go to Gorchner on? So Ward Kena had got round the car, like the car park that boys were going to go to Gorchen. And this is another ick, or maybe in podcast terms, one of my one-wheel pills I have is the dicks that go to fucking different arenas and they're like Passats and like front-wheel drive cars and then sit right in the middle of the different arena or just so they can't miss the there's action. There's another one. People have started parking at the exits now as well so they can get away fast. This is a new one I started now highlighting highlighting to the police. Yes, there is something Uh, on in there. Sure, there's one night we were at City Waste and the road was literally full the full way down. Huh? I swear to God. And all the space inside it. it, The first night was it? No, it was the night after Rally rally Weekend. Uh, It was the first night. See, realistically, if you're going to come at, if you're going to go to something like that, because we used to do that with a giveaway. We always used to go into a giveaway and go and park down the back. What Mm. a spot. Yeah, I miss a giveaway. We used to go down there. That was where I got my first run out in the Sierra. Fuck. I, out with Jordan Greer. I was unbelievable. Stone hard at the... Oh, after that. That was, that was what, maybe July 2015. And I'm sure by November I had mine bought. Was it was the first time I was in a giveaway. It was it was after Port, Port Rush Cruise. On yes. Easter Sunday. We all went there. And I remember it was Gavin Parker. Red was walking backwards, and did you ever see the open manholes? Yes. He put his foot down one, Ooh. and he went down, and I'll never forget it. It was cut the whole way up the leg. Oh, it was bad, like, and he just laughed it off. And I was like, if that was me, like that wouldn't be. I'd be crying. Aye. Do you know what I think? Funnish to give it. Uh, it was class, and they done it inside all the same. That's, yes. funny, that's mm. what finished to give it. That's what finished it. I think 
they were happy enough for boys to be outside. This is the problem with the social media age. They're happy enough to, for boys to be outside, but see, whenever the people were breaking inside yep. and starting to duff in the big hall, as class as that was, and to be there for the one or two nights that it happened, as soon as that could, like as soon as it got out that that's what people were doing and there was videos of it. The police had to take action. Right. I think if people hadn't have broke in the AGV, we would have had a couple more years out or mm-hmm. into the main building. I think we'd have got a couple more years out of it. Right. That's just my opinion. But to bring it all back, so we're all talking about our... Well, I'm not talking about it. You're all talking about your diffing and antics. Yeah, you've literally never owned a rear wheel drive. No. Couldn't pay for the tyres. That's why I don't really do enough of them. But uh, so both of you are fairly involved with the quarry then. Yes. When mm-hmm. did that all start? Well, we... Uh oh, you're in interviewer mode. I like it. <laughs> well, you're fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in shape talking mode. You're in new TV light mode. I just want, <laughs> yeah, I just want people to know. TV light. We talk <laughs> shit. I just want people to know I had an Altesa, all right? Did you have an Altesa? Aye. I'm asset. I, talk, Wait, what's I think whenever he sees a white Lexus drive by, 200, 300, or even a Toyota Altesa, I just wish I had not sold mine, you know. I used to have one of them, you know. But anyway, uh, you could play a bingo. Ge- you could play actually. Po- you could play a bingo game with the podcast episode. <laughs> if you listen to every podcast episode, I guarantee you will hear at one point. Uh, you could like you could just go. You'll hear me talk about the Altesa, and you just go, tack. Well, back to <laughs> LSD, not live. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, is when did you become involved with the quarry? I'd say it was September, August. It would have been. I don't know. You're the dit manly. Cause are we talking last year? Are we talking? There was troublemakers done the day for McEnany last year, and then uh, uh, Mur Mur right. said to us about if we were up for run, running something there, and we just went. I know boring. Started the, in January. The rest is history. Uh, January this year, so January twenty twenty three. Uh, there was the first. The first day was the last Sunday in January. Right. So January twenty twenty three then as. So when you started kicking on Tate. Yeah. Ah, so is the quarry not for profit or do you try like do you basically try we to try make to do as much charity events as we can? As much charity we all had. money that goes to charity basically mm-hmm. from it. Well not all but not we try to um, yes. the landowner. Aye, the landowner of, uh, obviously he's now yeah. and rightfully so is yeah. taking a bit of a cut off it, which I yeah. don't disagree um, with that. Um oh, we don't want for the air ambulance there. Yes, uh, yes. Do you know how much was raised? Uh, I, think I think it was because there was a GoFundMe up as well. Oh, like, this right is what, no, that was Mac Mac There was the GoFundMe for, wasn't it? Uh, there was. And then we had a raffle and all there. Uh, so where did I? Like, like for if you think like three grand for air ambulance just from a different event. Yeah. Mm. No, you got serious. Like that's serious. Then you good, wonder like, like all the events that have been for charity that have been shut down by different things. Mm-hmm. Cruise for cancer, one of them. Cruise yeah. for cancer is because the council didn't want it, so they made sure the police come on and absolutely mm-hmm. wreck the place. But sure, yeah. they've all their events like the money show and that. Aye, I, I and know. And show, sure. Aye, like, I know. I know. It's very contradicting. Yeah. What's uh? Or like the SWAT team. <sighs> Bastards. What? They the had a summer cruise there where they had. Uh, oh, PC Plum with a stupid looking hat. Aye, and all the boys in Aye, with their the undercover, undercover uniforms. Mm-hmm. That was bad. Unbelievable. <laughs> like, you think of the resource and the money and the overtime paid for them boys to do that, to go up and go. Because most your, civil your service are a bit too small. would be you have your normal week rate. Oh, every then one of them boys was evening rate, uh, and then your Saturdays on top of that, uh, and your Sundays on top of your Saturday. Oh, then and top every of one of them boys is done mm-hmm. time just to walk about. Maybe thirty, thirty-five pound there. Like. There's boys revving. I mean, Easter Sunday just this year past, the like boys were revving in front of the cops. They weren't even doing nothing because they're just out for money. Because that was a bank holiday day as well, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Or would it be? Did you not get? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was in Paddy's week, and uh, me and the Mrs. Gemma were in London and over in Birmingham seeing her brother, and we were also seeing the two Johnnies. Their show in London, mm. but like our flight came in in the international there. I think it was maybe nine ten o'clock in the morning. I was like, screw it, sure. Went and lifted the car during the week. Sure, we'll go to the port. Biggest fucking mistake I ever made was revving it. Maybe I was being a bit of a prat, but sure, we have to be a bit of a prat at times. Yes. So they walked over and went, "Can you justify why you just did that?" And I was like, "Well, the young boys wanted me to do it." And to be honest with you, if I was a young boy, I'd want the fella to do it too. It, this guy wouldn't have had a set of balls on me at the time. Ah. Mm. And I was like, well, I'll let you off in this instance because I feel you're being honest. And I was like, well, I'm not just going to rev a car for no utter fucking reason, but 
Uh, yeah. But like, even the condescending tone, can you tell me why you felt it was necessary for you <laughs> to rev your car? Now? Fuck off, officer. I'm here for the day to have a bit of crack. There's a wee Wayne's want me to rev my car. Like, It'd be falling into the cop station in a Cougar, more than likely. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, like it's. But do you know what the bit that always annoyed me was like the police come and they're like, "Oh, we take road deaths and all that serious." Absolutely, of course we do. Ah. You know, and then they go after the young cubs, and I hundred percent from driving these years have said the biggest menaces from even being at cruises and meets and everything, the biggest menaces are the young cubs that show up in their ma's car. Yes. They are always, because they're not paying for insurance, they're not paying for fuel, they haven't done any modifications to the car, so therefore they don't know a fucking thing about it. And they are the ones that try to drive around the car parks and set time attack records. Yes. It's them. I've always said they have been, like, Harking back to the days when we used to go to the Elk and all and do the, the Sunday night and all at the Elk and you come under you come under Marfelt and everybody was sitting parked up. There was always the same two or three in their Maz car and like a Polo and an Astra who used to come in and drive f- like flat out through thinking they were cool and everybody else just sitting parked up going like Wow What are you doing? Like you know last last, slap in Marfelt. last time I last time I checked sitting up parked in a car park wasn't really hurting anybody. Oh, you don't really... You're not going flat in the car park, like... No. Like, what do they think? By doing this here, as every woman in this car park, and they look at me and go, wow. <laughs> I think so. That has to be it, like... I genuinely think they do. Has and to be it. You do, you... And the music just mixed it, you know? Oh, I normally the windows are down, and they're blasting, like, some... Tokyo Drift tunes. Uh, uh, or it would be, like, UK rap or something like that. Oh, pure <laughs> drill. <laughs> That's what it would be. But like even sure Duffin, as Dave Egan said in their podcast, like Duffin's never killed anybody. Sure, no. how how can you unless you're going to be like say the once and whatever amount of chances that you're the cone and the driver slaps up? That's yeah. the only chance you hey, could. But well, what about uh, sorry? Uh, what about them American buddies? Was where a lot of people decided to be the cone. Uh, did you see the video today? It was posted under the UGD chat. It was a TikTok. Of there was the silver Lexus in America. It was the street takeovers. Yes. That's that's street they go, they go, they go, bro. They go to an intersection in America and they're like, "This is now a takeover." Like the <laughs> fact that they can first of all a have the space to do that and b get away with it for quite a while seems it's quite impressive. But, like if you went to a junction, like I've literally heard of boys going up to the Aura. Like the Aura is a mountain. Like the Glens Antrim, mm. it's between Cushendall and Lock Gale. Lock Gale. I think. It is, there's not even a house. Mm. And I've heard of the police going up there to go after boys. Like, you yep. know, we can't even go and fucking do that in the mm. middle of nowhere. Yep. And we then boys do PG1. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fuck. But the mad thing is about America too is like, they're well strict on like running red lights and stuff like that and then boys get away with doing that. Ah, but but the I'd video I'm on about, it was the silver Lexus. I think it was a BM too. Red. And a boy came out and they threw a basket <laughs> at the Lexus. Did you see this? <laughs> I have like they so. threw the basket at the Lexus to try and get them to stop. And your boys in the Lexus get out and they beat the living shit into this they, man. They all do this as well. See it them takeovers as well. Crash and the crowd if, anybody, if anybody crashes or hits a car, the thing is everybody rolls in and starts like punching and trying Aye. to like next thing it's like the driver's getting pulled out of the car and it's like one second ago you were cheering for this boy and now you're trying to beat the life out of him. Like, so Americans are nuts. You still didn't see the video. Are you I think I know when you're on about the boy in the there was a red Mustang that was do, doing rings. And then this boy got stuck underneath it and got pantsed by the car. Yes! You know. i never seen that. <laughs> I literally... I, and there was just a big black mark. Ah, that's funny. Literally, the car drove over and ripped his trousers off. <laughs> There's the one as well. Um, it was the lifted truck. Yes. And the cop just had it uh-huh. head on and the cop got out. And within seconds, I was like, that was well done. Cops would do that over here if they got half a chance, I mm-hmm. think. Cops are mental. Cops are <laughs> mental. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, yes, but like, what was our point there? Anyway, so back to the court. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't think it was a point. Hey, we just ran many events at the quarry then, since? Um, we've ran a couple of charity days. A um, couple of just. There's a sum that be on every Sunday. Once a month, we try. Once a month. You wouldn't want it every Sunday because no. then people wouldn't go, wouldn't draw a crowd. Like. Once a month, we would try and run. A public day, yes, but you can hire it off the landowner. 
Uh, or right enough. Ah, uh, you can now. Mm-hmm. There was a couple so of So the likes of if you want to do a bit of test or whatever, oh, uh, definitely you can mm-hmm. get in touch with some of you guys. And mm-hmm. Aye. It's nothing to do with us. Like, it's mm-hmm. the landowner. I'm not too clued up on how you'd book it. We done one one day. No, Gareth and Andrew, no. It was actually for Joe's, Joe Dolan's birthday. And uh, we landed up and the cows were all in the, <laughs> the area. Like, we landed up and it was covered with cows. Manure all over the floor. <laughs> oh. Howdy, like, what, did you just have to turn and go out or did you no. want the cows out? Just send it on. <laughs> well, it's not just as bad as fairies. Because the water in fairies comes from, a, from what I've heard anyway, it comes from like a salt water. So as, as you're different in fairies, the salt water is getting Actually, on, on your arches and stuff like seriously? that. Seriously? Well, Apparently so. Holy ghost. Fairies is a different breed, but yeah. fairies is... Do you know what? I saw something about fairies there recently. It actually pissed me off a bit. It was a, a wiener boy's... They were different, and I've I've talked about this a few times now. That's really fucking boys my blood. And your man was out with a red flag, and there's just these three dickheads and Alexis sitting hooping. And mm. I and then like any time your man went over, they just kept doing burnouts. And I was just like, <laughs> and then the next thing your boy tries to like sort of like stick his foot out at one of the cars, <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and then all the crowds just like I can't believe he tried to kick that boy's car. And I was like. Do you know what? He should have had a fucking man or two there and drove the toes clean I've through the side of it. I don't mean letter was in, that letter boy wasn't the best, Marshall. He was being a bit of a mm. all day. Like. Mm. See, in fairness, what you just said there, I can 100%. It's up in the quarry. At times you're telling boys to get out and they look at you and they go, ha ha. I'm going to do a huge burnout across the yard and another 20 rings and everybody's going to look at me and think, wow, this man's cool. <laughs> There's one boy at the quarry and he came in two or three times and I can remember every time the flag come out and he would keep hooping and everybody yep. else would be away and he'd just keep deafening. And the thing is, he didn't even look like... How do I put it? He didn't look like the type of lad that would do it because he, he had glasses and all this here. He didn't look like the type of lad that... <laughs> With, with, he didn't look like a like a rebel. Uh, you know, I just, like, that's about the, through me. What do rebels normally look like, Michael? Hey. They don't wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it just you know, it it, it looked fairly proper. Would it have been better if he had been out of balaclava on ah. it? <laughs> no, that's what he did, right? Um, but like, it's a uh, you know, like he just doesn't look like the type of way that would be you'd imagine that defy. I just. Who are you to do your whirly burlies? Oh, fuck. It, it pisses me off. Like, but then your lad, your other lad that actually marshals at the quarry, is it Chris? Yep. Yeah. He messages me and goes, I think I know the fella you're on about. He's like, I normally cut his time short anyway. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> so it's kind of sitting there with a like, stopwatch going, <laughs> not cutting my it's time just, short it's like, it's like soft border patrol where these people come back and keep trying to move the borders. What a day. show. <laughs> and, that? They, and they think that they're moving the border every day and then every night the police go and take it back. Your man's What's coming and going, ah, oh, fuck, I can't wait. I'm going to go and show all these people and I'll hang about for longer. And like he's been out, like they've cut his time by three minutes. So he's the same length of time. Oh, and give my head some peace. I've seen... An, your man through a border and then he was like so I'm not crossing this I'm going to make it a hard border and then he's like can't get a fucking drink <laughs> shit go on get me a drink and then your dog's like no, no. <laughs> he's like oh I'm having to cross the border but very yard is ruthless and then they send the water out as well and you see boys diffing and it's literally like it may as well be a lake like the shed out the back is literally like a swamp I, I, I've been to very yard a couple of times it is good it's a bit uh, rash, it's good like, crack it is rash. You know like you're going to see someone reckless. Oh, sure. Uh, the rally was not a fellow who literally made a compact Lexus out of it. The wheel fell off and everything. Oshin McCrav. <laughs> Standard fairies behavior. I was like, <laughs> that probably was a mint car you, too. No, the clutch. He said, if, I think it was if the clutch goes now and the clutch starts working, he's wrecking it. And that's how that happened. That's what I was told. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> was it I a mint car or anything? It was a track car. Oh, oh it was a track car? Oh, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. See, we heard through the grapevine that it was a really clean car, mm. but people will do that. People will tell a story like that yeah. just to make it sound a bit better. Like. Yeah. That is a dairy thing. That is a dairy thing. 100% a dairy thing. <laughs> What's been some of the rashest things you've seen at your time? Maybe hosting the quarry or in, in general, like these sort of events? Right, well, a few weeks ago anyway, we were out on Bert's private road. Yes. And uh, there was... This was after ferries, actually. Right. There was a man going up and down the road in third gear in and out of traffic. That is one of the maddest things I've seen. Drifting. Not even just driving. Drifting in and out and in between traffic. I've seen videos of that even around, like, 
Tim in that And ah, I'm like I How know. in that I f- think it was him Took the video Yes <laughs> <laughs> I'm like exactly The video you're on about The black S14 By any chance I don't, I, I don't have the black S14 to I have it. no idea <laughs> <laughs> But same, He can fucking steer The same, uh, the same In the private Tim Rose yep. The same Tim. fella May have put up a video One night or I think The same fella Who's sitting opposite May have put up a video Of this man One night going through Kill Ray Roads closed as well. That wasn't me. I thought of that. Oh, wasn't you? Video no. that. Were you the? Were you at the time that it was in the yellow twin cam? No. This fella is a fairly rash pilot. Like, but yeah. fuck, he can steer. Pilot X for anyone. Pilot X. Pilot X. <laughs> private pilot. <laughs> pilot X. He is. He looks at the road and it's called private. Yeah. He private. can steer, but I think a few ones listening to this will probably know who we're on about. Like, yeah. don't want to get away too much. Serious set of balls on. Oh, serious oh. set of stones. Like, or, yeah. or not a fuck to give or, or no. something. But we're talking about a boy who sends a car sideways over a speed bump. Like, <laughs> like that's what we're dealing with. Comes literally through the middle of a like, town over a speed bump sideways. Keeps her lit. Same fellow one day overtook me. I was in the P100. I just got her on the road and he came up beside me. And the next thing it was him and he had a couple of other boys. I'm saying, he just looked at me and waved. This is just Claddy Road coming between Lavi and Claddy where you'd come. And the next thing he just waved at me and was like uh, dead on, pulled in front. There's cars coming the way, handbrake. <laughs> Sideways just suddenly started hooping her. There's a set, it's actually quite a nice wee couple of corners there. And he just linked the whole thing. And me sitting in the P100, like obviously about doing about 35 mile an hour trying to keep up. And the next thing then he goes, he comes around the corner, fishtails are all up, comes to the next junction, handbrake up, starts hooping her in the junction, pulls off. Goes down the next road, waits till waits till I'm coming, handbrake up again, throws her around <laughs> at the next junction, and then the next thing what takes off. Guy. Third gear, he was giving it to her, clutch kicks. How just, like, blah, 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 does he get blah. away with it all the same? See, to be he's fair, had 11 points in his license for I know, don't know how long. Like. We were sitting up the diamond, and for anybody that doesn't really know, the diamond is the is that the top of Shipkey Street? Yes, in yes. So it's at the top of a massive fucking hill that yes. I also got nearly got done. Oh yeah, you nearly got done one time. Sorry, sorry, just, a, sorry, just a, a wee side story. So I was in the polo and it was for Owen's 21st birthday. Jesus. And I had myself, Kelly, and now 30, Cormac. So that's um, 10 years ago. Jeez, we are getting old. I think it was a twenty. Sure, we were all went to drive. We went to drive. You were driving, you were driving <laughs> I was driving. Yeah, but anyway, I was driving the sedan. To make a short story long, um, Went up the hill and fucking Peter done that. And I was like, oh shit, what have I done wrong now? And he was like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, no. Bear in mind, everybody else had no seatbelt on, drinking away, and they all had their drinks. And he was like, do you have an AD? And I was like, well, I, I revved my shitty fucking sounding exhaust <laughs> by the nightclubs. <laughs> I was 20, 21, didn't know any better. No, not for that, but that was stupid. And I was like, well, fair enough. I was like, I have no fucking idea. Your fog lights are on. And I was like, oh, well, that's actually not so bad. So I just put my hand out the thing. I was like, give me a slap on the wrist that you want. <laughs> so, uh, we were so sitting in the diamond one night. Right. The next thing I think it was a PM came around and your boy came in and he started drifting around the diamond. <laughs> this is, anyway, I'd say this was maybe seven o'clock in the evening. And eventually halfway around, he spins out. Uh-huh. And all his wisdom, he decides, I'm going to go backwards around the diamond. He went around the diamond the opposite way. And I was sitting there, and it was one of them times, I was like, am I really fucking seeing this? What the fuck? And still to this day, I think about that and go... Could the man steer? Or oh, he can steer. Oh, he can steer. He can steer. Well, not just for names, but... He just has no fear. But then, I suppose this is the thing where you've got balls versus stupidity. I would say going the wrong way around the roundabout is just stupidity, no matter how good you oh, are. Oh, he just like, mm, way the wrong way. So... What other rash things have you seen then? Did, we even, did you even tell us about the rash things? What have you seen at like the quarry or something? like? Oh, fuck it. The quarry. Um, uh, probably the Lexicam going on fire. <laughs> ah, yes. For anyone who doesn't know the Lexicam, the Lexicam <laughs> 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 is someone has taken a Lexus, a red Lexus, put a set of TTEs on it, put a set of CB on it, yep. and wrapped it red. I think it's a black wrap, or is it uh, painted? It's painted. Is it painted? It's painted. They've done a red over black Lexus. No, I. That was I, the one we've seen in the way yeah, of Donegal yeah, 20, that is, uh, 2022. Uh, uh, I was red over black. He could have done the boot. Do you know what? I wasn't actually fully against it, other than the way the boot's done, because it doesn't match the rest of the car. See if, see if, see if the bumper set had just been done black and the boot had been kept red. I wouldn't hate it as much. But I, good old Lexicam. 
much. And he has single cam 24 valve on Something it. Something like that. Despite I the fact, so it is single cam the fact I think IS200s are a twin cam, I mean. I'm not too sure. Ah, they are. Aye. 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 They are. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I was just about to leave the quarry. And the next thing I walked up to my goodbyes and I seen the Lexi cam pull out. And I seen this young fella walk up. And I turned, he went up the driver and he just went, now, just got a wild hair of abuse. And the young fella just walked up and he looked him dead in the eyes and went, she's up. <laughs> now, the driver looked at him and went, what do you mean? And he just looked and went, she's up. She's on fire, lad. <laughs> and at that point there, then, he pulled around the side and started freaking out. And I remember running over and we're like, fuck, 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 it's on fire, it's on fire, fuck, what are we going to do? And Jimmy Moore... Another man in the quarry yes. decided in all his wisdom he was going to take it up the, the top bit of the quarry. Uh-huh. So there was a big puddle. Uh-huh. Now, to get up there, you normally have to go around and do sort of a three point turn. He went over the bank, and I'll never forget running up that hill with a fire extinguisher and looking back and seeing the Lexicam come over that we hump on three wheels. I'll never, <laughs> I'll never forget seeing that and going up. And we fired fire extinguisher around here she went back up again so I lay in a puddle and bailed water up around it did you get the fire out? oh I got the fire Fair out and I'm surprised because I remember uh, a wee years ago I think this was maybe 2018 um, you might have been there letter Kenny Carton don't you remember this? yes the silver Lexus the one that was on the field the one out in the back of the uh, field and I remember the thing is it, was, it must have been a fuel fire mm-hmm. or someone had what I what I was told if I like this years ago, so I probably will get this story wrong, is there was something in the bonnet and your man slammed it shut and then just went from that because he slammed the bonnet with so much force. That's what I was told, but it could be different, Nick. Like, I don't know. You'd wonder was it an electrical spark or something uh, or this wire caught something. But then Donegal <laughs> stories are from Donegal people. You never know if they're true. Oh, let's take up a pinch of salt <laughs> or maybe the full fucking salt mine. Yep. Uh, but I remember then they tried to get the tanker and reverse the tanker, but because there was fuel involved, mm-hmm. water and a fuel Jesus. fire doesn't uh, work. Just it, spreads it. Uh, so the next thing the story tanker went on the flames just went poof. <laughs> <laughs> I like you seen everybody like there's all the boys around the arena and you just looked and you just seen the entire crowd just nerd run on everybody just fucking whoosh they got there over to the over to the uh the Lexus and I remember just standing there going, Oh shit <laughs> but that was back when the silver Lexus was probably still worth about five P like No, so. I mind that because we just stood and because it was all your crowd that were going in and aye, we was, sat aye. and videoed all them yeah. because there was nothing really that special there until you boys started going on. Ah, uh, that's right. And then um, we stood and watched Usins go, and then there was two two twin cams. That yes, went there was. Yep, I remember and that. And then by the time we actually left where we were standing, the wee side, but then it was out. <laughs> or no, it wasn't. I don't actually no, think it went out. No, it wasn't. It burned. I think we just it left. Burned. It burned. Uh, mm. Thank you. It burned. Uh, was, there was a very close call with an other Lexus up in that private car park in Gorton. I don't know if you've seen the videos. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do two seconds. Just check. So there's this boy, and it was a blue Lexus, and he was going for ages. And it was one of the times you were like, this is You could would stop now. You would uh, stop now. I would now. stop now. Chief. And then, uh, and then he, <laughs> just, he just kept her up on the limiter. Just the so thing, everybody's ears were bleeding then as well. Eh? So no, mm-hmm. she had cats. She mm-hmm. wasn't a... Uh, was oh, it's not as bad then. Mm-hmm. And then the next thing i seen... Or no, I walked up the top. That's nearly worse, because that'll... that'll uh, uh, hold the heat. Hold it, hold it uh, back, eh? Next thing, I walked up the top, and someone came up and said, that blue Lexus is on fire. Now, I always have extinguishers in the boot. And I went straight down with the extinguisher and got down underneath it. And again, it wasn't enough. It was a powder extinguisher, too. I'll never forget. It went... I, I ran down with a powder extinguisher, and I sprayed it in. But as I sprayed it, the powder came back into my face. Oh! And it was heartbreaking. And it was one of them times where there was a big crowd around and someone had they had noticed it and I was like, I don't think anyone's noticed this, this is brilliant. So there probably is a video of me getting white powder from a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Must have had <laughs> sprayed in my face. I can remember a story someone actually got happening to me. This was back I was getting a feature done the two seven back in the day this crowd called Fit Estate. And I had a I used to have these like Stancy Wheels O Z features they were called on the on the 207 and the fronts were a ridic- like dickhead stretch and I remember I couldn't get one of the wheels to seal so in the middle of the photo shoot she debeat it because it's hydraulics you know you put the it car down debeat it before he even came aye uh, because I was there we were trying to pump the 65 we were trying to pump like 65 a fucking cigarette lighter <laughs> pump 
to 65 PSI. And I was like, if that tire blows off, you know, you're dead. But there's there basically, like, you know, where they have like the tire foam as well. They have like the sort of liquidy stuff yeah. that goes in and sets. Aye. But Did you try and light it? No, I accidentally unscrewed it instead of the the cap for the um the air. And the, all this white liquid just came out, psh, hit me straight in the middle of the face. And one of the boys I was featuring, like taking the pictures that day, he was like, I just wish I had that in camera. He's like, I had a Photoshop, like brazzers. <laughs> no. Straight on there. And just this white stuff hitting you in the face. Like. 100%. There is a video of me with the powder from the fire extinguisher coming back out over my fist. It hasn't surfaced yet, but it is there. But like, obviously, a lot of our clientele who listen to this podcast, realistically, like a lot of them probably are like into the diff- and drifting, etc. Um, I've seen some, I've seen, I've been on the end where I've blew up stuff myself out drifting and duffing. Uh, have and any of you ever shed? S- and in the shed, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, have any of you ever seen anything like where someone's like messed his car up and he's like, I need to get home, or like some, and he's just went, right, like I'm talking like maybe. Hanging up a an exhaust with a coat hanger or something like that. Actually, that's not even that rash compared to some of the things I've I seen. I can give like, you a better story. Go on. So, it was maybe two years ago. Right. I had COVID and I just finished isolating and I was allowed out. And I was like, fuck yes. Finally got out. Michelle got out too. Right. And I was like, I know. I am going to get a chicken box this past. For those of you who don't know, you won't see this, Michelle. Uh, Jamie's wife's actually in the background <laughs> here as well, watching us. I thought you were going to explain what a chicken box so was. So he's there. not just that happy for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're hankering for a chicken box? I was dying for a chicken box. Right, okay. That's a, a very sec- special second. <laughs> dairy. I, didn't read, I didn't know what a chicken box was till I started going with Becca. Mm. Boys, I'm an absolute convert. Uh, Unbelievable Just one wee thing Since you you've been going with Becca You have not shut up About how much you love Derry Just saying <laughs> Don't let and them know the, the other thing right Is see whenever he comes back from it He might as well be Talking like he's from Derry Sure we were talking about this earlier In the car I have a Derry voice Ah you do I, I, I have a Derry you voice You hear just coming in Every now and again uh, It's uh, like me Whenever I was going up to the duff yard I'd come down And I'd be going Alright mate And you'd be like what the fuck? I'm not from Belfast. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I swear to God, I'd be like, I'm going to the hairdressers, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't I'm even from- know what the hairdressers is. It's, hard- like me, it's like me going to Fermanagh. You just you come back one. Okay, I know what you mean. Uh, I know what you mean, hey. Uh, yeah. All right, let's not get sidetracked. So, right. chicken <laughs> boxes are class. Yes. They are good. Good Hallows gear. pizza. You have to go there. Best one in there. Master C's, but anyway, we won't fall out. <laughs> So, not, not in camera. I was sitting there and I was eating my chicken box and I was fucking loving it. The next thing, the phone rang and I'm not going to say his name. He said, lad, what are you at? And I was like, I'm just sitting eating the chicken box here. And he goes, lad, I'll tell you what it is. I'm out working here and the car through the belt. And I go, right, okay. And I said, where are you at? And he goes, I'm just leaving later, can I? I'm going to try and nurse her. They stood And I went, right, pull her in as the car park and then I'll come meet you. We'll bodge it somewhere. So the next thing in, anyway, up the road we go. And I was like, what the fuck, am I going to bodge this here? The belt, he doesn't have the belt. So I thought, no, my wisdom. I'll stop in and I'll get big industrial cable ties. And I thought, <laughs> we could bodge it with the cable ties and it'll get him up the road, like, or it'll get him a wee bit up the road. So we got there and right. we put the cable ties around. <laughs> All right. We got there and she threw the cable ties off. I saw this was running. I was like, right, that's not going to work. Aye. So I turned to him no and problem. I said to him, Dad, what are you doing this time of night out working anyway? And he goes, you're never going to believe this. I drive strippers about. And I looked at him and I went, <laughs> yeah. I looked at him and I went, your balls. And he goes, oh, I, oh, I. And I went, no, you're taking the pass on me. And he goes, go and look at my Where's car. he from? I don't want to say that. There. I don't want to give him away. <laughs> right, okay, okay. People won't know. I don't even know who you're on about, Lexa. So the next thing then, I turn, he turned to me and goes, go and look in the car. So I opened the driver's door and I looked in. I pretended I was looking for something. And in the passenger seat, there was a man there. And he was dressed in a sailor's uniform. Right. A white sailor's uniform, uh-huh. complete with the hat. Hello, sailor. And, oh. <laughs> 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 I thought you'd look at me dead in the age when you said that. Christ <laughs> almighty. What was it you said? This is like the casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Michelle, you might want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're sitting there, and 
I look in the back end, and there's a woman, <laughs> woman in there. And did you ever hear the expression "fur coat, no knickers"? <laughs> <laughs> that was literally her. <laughs> and she gets. It was just a weird night. So how did you know she had no knickers? Basically, she got out and said she was very cold. She only had a bra on uh-huh. under her fur coat. So that's how I imagine. Well, that fur coat, fair no enough. That, that's, that's what she said. That would lead you to believe that. Yeah. So yeah. the next thing, then, anyway, the driver turns to me and said, "Do you mind throwing up the Belfast?" And I was like. Lad, I can't take a fall over in that Lexus. I can't. So he goes, right, okay, okay, can you phone them? It's a taxi. So I phoned a taxi from Straban, and the taxi man pulled up, and he goes, booking for Jimmy. I went, ah, that's me, lad. And I go, it's not me, it's going, it's all our boys there. So he goes, right, no bother. Next thing, out they get from the back, and I see the taxi man look at me, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I kind of nodded at him, and mm-hmm. So they get in, they're about to drive off, and the taxi turns and comes back. And they go under the boot of the BM and they get out a bag of beer and a big massive speaker. The taxi man looked at me again and went. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> the taxi man was probably like, should I get a fake taxi sticker put in the back <laughs> or something? Like <laughs> so I turned to the taxi man and I said, lad, I'm not going to lie to you. See whatever you're thinking. You are correct. I was, thinking the ex- <laughs> I was thinking the exact same about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so then I ended up leaving the driver up the Belfast and all. It was a random night. We were actually up. All the taxi man had to say was, don't worry about paying, don't worry about paying. <laughs> I'm not a real taxi driver. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that was probably... Hi. Uh, whenever they threw the cable ties off, we had the idea of going on the Asda to try and get a pair of tights. Because uh-huh. we heard that you could bodge it with tights just to get them home. Until we realised it was about 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. Of course. Asta doesn't open that then. Aye. So he was fucked. Aye. Well, like, I don't think anyone can really compare with a story like that. Jimmy, that's kind of a one of a kind story. One of a kind. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, in fact, I don't actually really want to know much more about it. Although it's fucking hilarious. It's saying that the more you think about it, the more you, the less you, you want to think about it. It's a it. real head scratcher of a night. Don't know, surely you've seen some in a rash sites well, in your time. Like, I've seen wrecking, like, but I've never, like, off the top of my head, I. Cannot think Have you never seen anything where you've seen some man going, he's not driving that car home tonight, and somehow that fella has driven that car yeah, home? Yeah, actually, twin cam veterans. Really? Yeah, the, we went in the black S14, Mr. Uh-huh. Pilot X, uh-huh. for everyone wondering, and uh, we were coming up, I think it was the Balahi Junction, uh-huh. and just all you see was him going for the handbrake, f- going up the road, and then uh, just you come on across nowhere, the fly. The flyover, right? Uh, uh, and then... Uh, he was back and forth anyway, and this van was coming up, and as the, there was cars were backed up the whole way in this left hand side, and uh, as the cars were coming up, the van was getting closer, and I was just watching him, and him still just happy out, fish tailing away up the road as this van's coming towards. He must have just squeezed past the van by about that much, and just unpassed and kept going, kept her lit. No, but even if you see some man, like, I suppose I'm more thinking of someone like some man's blown a death or some man's busted gearbox. Yeah. You've never seen anybody like, I'm, like never like, I've never seen anything like you'd always see a Lexus getting hot. Aye, that's but you part wouldn't think anything like. of you wouldn't think much of that. <laughs> no. Jamie would know quite a lot of it. Yeah, that. yeah, but I was I was at the quarry and I won't go into the specifics of what actually happened, but basically there was a running with a track car. I mean a road car. I uh, won't go into specifics. You, who was driving you? I was driving the Lexus. Ah. Uh, and there was a track car at the side of her. Ah. Uh, and that I was, was nice of him. Yeah, it was nice of him. So I was pretty rattled and I left and I was like, fuck it, what will do? What will do? Uh, fuck it, I'll go to the port with a quarter driven. <laughs> I thought to myself, everybody's going to see it regardless. I see him as well. If you so own it, just own yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. So I, I don't know my D Turbo too. Whenever that happened, away I went to the port. Did you hit a track here as well? No, someone drove a tow bar at JB Tires. A fellow was reversing out with a Pajero or a Shogun and put the tow bar clean into the side of the 306 because the 306 are that low as it is. And then she was Dak. He yeah. just literally got the sweet spot and put the whole quarter in with a fucking tow bar. Like, <laughs> oh no, fuck I, I, fuck I, I think I can mind You were that. there that day. Oh, right. oh fuck I was there that you day, were that yes. day. Yes. We all decided to take a trip up Big alignment crew Yes. Oh we all went to get our wheels aligned And I come back with a fucking side driven <laughs> <laughs> I went to the port then I And I just got under the port and I was like This is going good here, it mustn't be that noticeable And I'll drive around past the chip van and lands down Next thing all I hear is 
oh my god what has he done to that quarter panel and, look, and he's standing there with the camera out just going <laughs> yep, pretty much and there's a video of me I went to this stage you know what I might as well just don't know what so I hung out the window and just pointed it so speaking of video cameras oh, you've actually led me on very nice there Jimmy like that um Mainly you like that you, there, do you? Like that, so I do. Like that, do you? Like that, do you? Like that there, mate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> do you know what? Um, something I actually want, obviously, Donal, you've had, you've got kind of a bit of a name for yourself, sort of with the whole video and car taking yeah. all that shit. So, where did that all start? Because well, all of us, as Wayans, all take pictures of cars, but you've kind of done quite well you are it. in the right place at the right fucking oh, time yeah, yep. every fucking De- time dedication <laughs> where did it start um it's just going to port with my dad just to be so honest. literally so just and then i was on iphone 4s at the time and video on for my own channel and are we like, really when you say what is your own channel it was donald holmes back then oh, but fuck. now it's a different name because i don't like that channel anymore <laughs> i don't want people to find it what's the different name what do you mean donald donald what donald Oh, that's so funny. Uh, do you know uh, where that came from? No, I used to play Fortnite professionally, and my name oh on Xbox. Jesus Christ! My name on Xbox was Donal FN, and I used to play in tournaments and stuff. So, but Donal, as uh, in like Dole's and Dole victim. Uh, See, I thought I thought that was a fantastic play in words. Uh, it said like it's like Donal's follow you, and I was like, that's actually fucking <laughs> hilarious. This is the best thing I ever seen. Someone had called themselves Xbox off. So whenever you killed them, they'd say. Fuck you, Xbox off. <laughs> I was about to say Xbox off. <laughs> what the brilliant was that? That's actually <laughs> That's unreal. But like, so, I young cub going to the port with your dad. Um, iPhone 4S. Holy shit, how long ago were we going back here? 2016. Maybe before that. Maybe before that. Holy shit. It wasn't even mine too, it was my dad's. Fair play. So then so you wanted to go to the port and then your dad took well, you to it? I don't know, like my dad would have been under the kerosene a bit like. Oh, was he? Uh, never really meant to meet so now, he would have went when he was younger. But yes. I got under the cars and I was like trying to see where, where it would be good to go. If you know what I mean? They like see nice stuff when I was younger because you don't get much in Derry. Uh, oh, that's true. <laughs> Turn the microphone a bit closer to you there. Uh, you don't get much in Derry. So you don't? Well, I've been said, see in recent times, like with the kind of the... The meats do. I with mm. the troublemakers and all that yeah, there. Like, time. like, bricks done all right, but I get mm. stuff on the dairy, like, but I remember, like, years ago heading the dairy for, like, the odd night, and there was nothing, like, not mm. really. Mm. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so then what happened from there? So I started taking videos. So you were, like, bearing in mind, we're talking, we're going back to, what, 2014, 2015. So you're, like, 10. I was uh, I was going in the secondary school as I was starting it. Right, so Right. Okay, so you were you had a YouTube Fuck I feel old. Same. <laughs> so you had a YouTube channel then? Yeah. Just posted like car edits. They weren't that good, but like I like to look back at them now and watch them because it's where I started it. Oh, I where 100%. can we find this YouTube channel? Uh, you'll find it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> There's no videos of me on it anyway. It's just probably me videoing like Standard yaks in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is what a lot. That is what a lot of ones do. Like I remember it as the same as a Wayne. Like I have mm. photos. If you go through my phone, like I mine was all Max Power. Max Power I, was have the pic- I, I have pictures of like cars from like 20, 2011, 2010 even far there back. There used to be in my felt a yellow Mark Four going round with I think it was a Sea West kit on it. I thought it was Cargateer. No, color concept one. No, it was bright yellow, uh, and it had the. Uh, I'm near sure it was Sea West. I only know what's the Sea West kit because it wasn't just. And they always used the actual real names of the kits because that was the type, big thing about it because it was licensed. That's right. And I'm near sure it was JFM Constructions. Son owned it. Aye. Uh, so like McLaughlin's, yeah. They would have had A money. Bit of coin, with, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but uh, so then. Kinda as times went on, then you've now started your own the YouTube channel and all that there. Mm-hmm. So when did you when did you decide? Look, I know you've been involved with a few other things there in the past, uh, like. But when did you decide? Look, I want to kind of try YouTube again, like. Or did you were you always on YouTube and? Well, like there was whenever I started to get big on TikTok, 
I just mainly focused on TikTok, like, uh, and then um, did what that I just happen overnight? Or Jimmy, you're sitting here piping up as if you want to uh, say something. That wee fucker gets paid from TikTok. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's not much. Cut. How? How did? Once you once you have a certain ten thousand followers, and then you have to have a hundred thousand views in the last month. We might we can get to ten thousand followers probably soonish, but the. Number of your views is completely slashed. We were doing well, and then all of a sudden, does it matter what time of the day you post TikTok? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I post mm. at one o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, that random times, like, and it's still the same engagement, more or less half the time. I don't think it. I don't think you it might get a wee either. boost in the start posting earlier in the evenings, which is what I've noticed. My videos in the evenings will do better once they're posted. See, whereas ones have told us in the past, oh, never ever post in the evenings because then you'll not make the algorithm. You need uh, to post in the morning. That's what I notice is you get the boost at the start. But then it just slackens right back down after an hour. Like, I remember there was one video I put up. Our latest video did exactly that. Our uh, latest video went fucking mad at for the, the start. First hour, and I was and like, oh, real, we were going to hit the big numbers. And then yeah. it just went up 60 views in like the last two to the three days. The best video we done was he posted it in the morning. We'll say like nine o'clock. But we were that busy. We never even looked near the phones all day. Mm. Came back. But it was ADK. three hours later. It was like three thousand view, like three thousand likes. We're like, holy yeah. fuck! Aye. But so I don't See, know. See, to be fair, the last right, I don't really know how to work TikTok. I just see. I upload the videos and I just press auto cut. <laughs> the best thing ever. Slap a bit of music over it. Post. Don't know how to work it. The last video I made. No, it's gonna be nothing compared to him. I and it done better. I done better. <laughs> done better. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Did you just admit that? Well, yeah. I am better at TikTok than nah, you. Well, statistics don't lie. I yep. will remember well, this bit's cut out. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it in. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Oh, brilliant. So, anyway, anyway. I was going to cut it, but there's been a few wee gems said. Uh, so. It got uh, 20,000 views. Yeah, and I was f- fucking delighted. 3,000 likes. Mine got 600. I was delighted. I was like, <laughs> I'm Mr. Popular now. I always call him Mr. TikTok himself. But you know what? Like, I see random people. Like posting pure shit and it's got like fifty eight thousand views or fifty eight thousand likes and I'm just like, how? My highest most viewed, well my most liked video is literally just Jeremy Clarkson talking over a few clips and then there's an other one that went very viral which was Shay Lockran hanging out of a twin cam at King Lacone with a bottle of Buckfast in his hand. That got three hundred and fifty thousand views or something. Seriously, like that. fuck. That could blew Trending overnight. Like, fast. So <laughs> it actually didn't blow overnight. This blew about. A month after Donegal, whenever I post it. Oh, seriously? Aye, uh, this just so came out So it wasn't even nowhere. relevant, so to speak. No. that's right? what, It was all Americans saying, like, why is that dude drinking <laughs> wine <laughs> while he's in a car? Oh, my God. Stuff like that there. He does good Americans. That's what really they're all saying really in the comments, out. like. That's actually fucking, that's what I'm like. So was it one video, don't know, that just took off or what? Aye, uh, there was one at the start, which is one I said there was the Jeremy Clarkson one, and that got 5,000 no, 5,000 followers that night from that one video. Seriously? Yeah. Holy shit. And it's what? not even that good. It's literally auto-synced. It was whenever... Well, I used to post stuff on Musical.ly before it was TikTok, which wasn't cars. It was me acting as a superstar dancing and all. Like, okay, cool. Where the fuck are these videos? <laughs> <laughs> Very well deleted. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they are, sir. The thing is, right, they're, they're probably at a stage where Ronald's probably under 16. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, if you had them videos, I'd literally report you. <laughs> 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 and then that means it goes on the evidence, which means it can never be deleted. <laughs> Good you're, idea. Take, you're taking the hat for everybody. Yeah, that's a good man, Jimmy. <laughs> what age were you when you started TikTok then, Don? Uh, 13. Well, so I think I was one of the first people to start posting car videos on TikTok, I'm pretty sure. Um, See, we were we were so against TikTok. Like, cause mm. we, we, we're, we're the uh, Instagram that's, that's, generation. I remember everyone was, like, g- giving it up to me and stuff about it as well. Like, saying, why would you post not just post on YouTube or whatever? We were, like, so, like, oh, fuck, TikTok. Like, we used to actually look at you and go... TikTok's all where all the fucking young cubs go. Like, you know, oh, yeah. all the young cubs are in TikTok. Yeah. We're connoisseurs here. We're Instagram. And then Instagram just goes, <coughs> and TikTok, TikTok. everybody's in TikTok mm-hmm. now. And we're just like, hmm, stunks. <laughs> let, <laughs> let, let's uh, let's uh, sell our souls and go to TikTok. Not on the podcast, but Adam was the only one out of any of us that sort of took on TikTok. <sighs> we used to think he was a glue bag for it. Like. <laughs> and, like, he, well, what was it? A few videos of him just 
horned to the stones over his yellow Lexus was Aye. basically what he got yeah. likes yeah. on. And he was getting serious likes. And we were like, Adam, why are, you, why are these videos getting likes? He's like, I've got like 6,000 likes of this picture of my Lexus. And I was like, how? And I was like, if I get 1,000 likes, I will start it. And then he came down one night, did he not with you? And he spent like two hours trying to get the fucker started. That's right. And then her off a cylinder on the laminar. It didn't sound great at all, though. But, um, they spit a while, see when they're running five cylinders, but they spit a wild flame. My blue one did. She was running off and used to key banger when she was running off cylinder and she spat the biggest flames because she was going rich. Fairies, they could, they could be running on fucking one cylinder. That wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. I actually seen, I'll bring it up later, I've actually seen a couple of things about fairies there as well. But um, actually, do you know what? I might move this on to the next section because normally we would do the versus challenge. But Jamie has decided that he's going to take over the podcast. This is no longer the Lemon yeah. Step yep. podcast. This, this is, is the JRK. Jamie Keys, JRK <laughs> podcast. So, so Jamie wants to play a game. It's Mr. Saw over here. What the fuck is Mr. Saw? <laughs> <laughs> How fuck have you not seen the Saw films? I don't like scary films. Right, to be fair, I don't like it. I, like, I don't like them. I, I will not watch scary films. Right. So anyway, right. We're going to play a wee game. It's called Guess That Car. I'll send you the pictures. Guess That Car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you didn't hear that, Michelle apparently is saying that she'll be disappointed if we don't so, get it. I tell you what, I'll send you. There's three pictures, right? I've zoomed in on various panels of cars. You haven't sent me. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Here we go. So I've sent you. <laughs> I've sent you photos. Three photos. You've sent me three photos. Yes. The first one is that first one is that a Jetta? You are correct. <laughs> uh, sponsored by Scrap Kings, folks. Sponsored by Scrap Kings, Jimmy Moore. <laughs> <laughs> the buy alloy wheels. <laughs> ten, ten hour wheel. Right. It ten hour wheel? Okay. Uh, it's ten hour yeah. wheel and then it goes up from wheels over 16 inches. Mm-hmm. Good to Great. know. <laughs> the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a Peugeot 207. It's not just any Peugeot 207. It's my 207. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fair, I, 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 I recognise that spoiler anyway. This hasn't went well. And now, what do you think the first one is? The third one? This third one here. came in different order. Aye. Do you know what that is? Shh. Yes. Shh. Is that a fate multiplier? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I knew this one would be hard. Curve, num. It's sort of Lux. Um, is it a Honda? Nope. No. It looks like either a fucking. After the f- third guess, we'll give you the manufacturer. Right, okay. Well, to me, it looks like <laughs> either like a Mazda or a Saturn or something. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. You <laughs> no. can't tell. <laughs> no. Um. Right. We're not far than fucking Do you have a guess at all. I actually it's like a Hyundai or something. It's French. That doesn't fucking That's look a, like a uh, Renault. Let's just say it would be a nice thing to take on a scenic drive. It's a scenic? It is. It's, it is. it's a Renault scenic. I yeah. Well, <laughs> I got the Jetta and the. The very first so one looked very like similar to the Apollo and we well, fucked front bumper but then it was we thought the front bumper were three three years off we actually thought the lights kind of looked like as the under lights but that could uh, just be us I <laughs> uh, aye for the front bumper nearly looks slightly oh. like a v1 aye there's the first <laughs> squintly i like that well this is actually a segment we would call we call this segment the big old skater one wheel pills and we yes. have a few things you want to talk about as well jimmy so this is the chance to get the phone out and go through that list connor have you done any research this week so the reason I've actually brought this through early is I allowed we'd end up talking quite a lot and some of the stuff on this. So I do, I have. So um, some fella, Connor McGowan, not me, right, is selling a grey EP3 with apparently a very similar spec to mine. Okay. I don't know if he's still selling it or not, but it was a grey EP3. Yes. With In the photo, the number plate was like, the letters were all like weighted out, so you couldn't see them. We had Max and front splitter and it didn't have a max and set of skirt extensions so from that i knew that it wasn't, wasn't my own your, car it wasn't but i had ground. people message me going is that your car 
I was like, no, it's lying in a shed and I'm very much not selling it. <laughs> um, but yeah, good good luck with your seal, lad, anyway. <laughs> How many of you have heard of a game called Roblox? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh I know I exactly know. what you're going to say. Roblox. What is Roblox? It's right, so it's basically a game where people make their own game as such. Is it I used to play it's it's like as younger. Is it kind of like Minecraft? And a butt. And a butt. Apparently someone made Fairy's Yard. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pure shape meat put it up. Fairy's Yard and Roblox. That, that, that uh, was pretty uh, cool. For I just see all the Wayans, like all the, ne- the nieces and nephews with all the iPhones just fucking playing it in the house. Another one I've seen was a fella, Jack O'Neill, sent me a video of a uh, Fate and a Matt bro on the pit. You usually not get this because it's farm related. So it was on a silage pit, a Fate and a Matt bro going up the pit. He has a 11090 and a... It's not the same as mine, but I was like, ah, someone's been listening. You know, um, you know the story of my life. And not well. It's a good spo- man, Jack. It's I suppose it's bigger than skid, but Phil Morrison from Driftworks has bought a HKS high power bike box and his M three like just a model of it. I sent the photo in there the day. If you looked at it, no. Um, <laughs> 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 That's why he didn't reply. Um, Was it on Snapchat? No, probably. There it is. There, I think that looks serious. Well, that does look that well. Does look cool. I see it. Oh, that's pretty cool. That actually. works, yeah. Yeah, it does work. It's the same with, like, um, you know, the A90 Supra. You know what? Just on Driftworks there. There was one car I always wanted to see from Driftworks. The, I'm going to assume it's the E46 M3 with the nope. BMW M5 nah. V10 engine. Don't come. The DW86. Sure, it was at LZ Festival, uh, yeah. That was one of the main reasons why I said, I'm going there. I, I remember that like, when he was mm-hmm. building that, it was like, at the time, it was like a V8 going in, it has like air jacks. And yep. This Everyone thing was, was like, revolutionary wow, at the this. time. Like, I always wanted to see it. 18 inch wheels as well. Yeah, yeah. that was class. I mean, that at the time. Um, another thing uh, I wrote down to talk about Agri Technica, but the main points I found from it Massey have a new flagship, which basically is an 8S and steroids. Yes. So an 9 Yes. New Holland have a new combine out. Yes. The CR11. Have you seen it? No. Yes, no. No. I'm not sure if a litre means a kilo, but it has a 20 ton bend on it. Holy fuck. And I think fuck. it is a 50 foot McDonald head on it. So they've obviously part. I'm near sure it's 50 foot. But it's like, I thought whenever the Massey. You'd cut all the Balinese in one go. <laughs> yes, yes, you would. <laughs> you would indeed. And the other thing I have um, is do you know Tractor Cab Specialists on Facebook? Yes. They have like a fleet of old stuff. Uh-huh. Well, I think they're, well, either there or else they've shared it. Uh, Ford 7, 8, 10, Force 3. Weigh four thousand euros from brand new original tire still on her, Ooh, and nice. she's only one owner. One owner from new class. She's on sale if you want to buy her for forty k. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not. Left the mattress, lad. Is that is that you, everything? <laughs> yes, that's you, everything. I've got. A I'm few. all out. I have a few more. Uh, I've become a lazy bastard. Really? Yes, I've become obsessed. Not like you, I've become obsessed with plumbing. You right. like pipes, do you, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Piping match <laughs> Different sizes All different thicknesses No, yeah, one, everything. no wonder Mary's <laughs> broken No wonder Mary's broken I, I have I was I've Replumbed the farm there recently As you sort as you know Okay And I've just kept Adding the thing So While the cattle and the crush The other day I was like Got out the guys the, the vet was like I could do some water So I went You know what So now I've just taken the lines I've now plumbed the hose Into the Into the crush Great job well, a nice wee spray on nozzle, and then I was over in the I was over in the shed, and I was like, "Oh, I can't be bored walking down the yard to go and wash the wash my boots and wash the um, wash the like the the scraper." You're talking. Yes, <laughs> wash the scraper and all, and uh, so I plumbed another hose into that shed. So never mind the amount of ta- the amount of time I've spent going and getting the scraper, or going and hey, getting the plumbing bits. works. Is taking orders. It's uh, never mind the amount of time I've spent going and actually sourcing the parts and fitting it all. So now you're an electrician and a plumber? Yes. They don't go hand in hand, like. No. Stuff goes on fire and then you can't put it out with water. That's shocking. Uh, Aye. <laughs> good fun. <laughs> <laughs> Another big, uh, big old skid for me. Um, any of you heard of JH Restorations on Instagram? Did any of you see SEMA? Did any of you see the blue Merker? With yes. Ford EcoBoost engine, I haven't seen it. Yes, it looks like a Sierra. I haven't seen it. It's surely modeled seen it. in a RS five hundred because they knew the yes. UK car looks better, but it has got Mercer rear lights on it. Yes, 
and they didn't do the lower spoiler for he said it would overdo it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it is full white arch kit that's custom made with engine. the whole front end is one the the head the bit with the headlights and all are and the bumper is all one bit. Have you not seen this? This it looks like a Sierra. I see it a bit honestly. The most I've seen of SEMA is about five minutes of the Drift Games video. Sure, Drift Games literally f- interviewed yeah. your man. Yeah. Did they? Yes. <laughs> I only watched five minutes of it and I switched it off. Good this job. Is, this is like, like, I think it's the first five minutes Drift of it. Games, uh, what's that? Subscribe? No, not obviously subscriber, like, but... They're, no, it wasn't. It was one of their public videos. It's was not it? even a members only. Yeah. They literally, they talk uh. to the owner. Because Dave Egan literally talks about how Sierras are all done the same back at home and I was just kind of like... <laughs> I know you're a big fan of him, and I know from his humility whenever he spoke to us at LZ Fest, he was very nice. But yeah. Laurie Chen's actually another good YouTube channel to oh, definitely he watch. Larry he Chen is, is the fucking cool. man. He you know class. he is an absolute gentleman. Jimmy Oaks. Oh, oh my god. god. Big time. Jimmy Oaks. Uh, in the words of Josh Holdsworth, Jimmy Oaks would literally sacrifice a. Uh, like a, a drive like a qualifying run yep. to just sign an autograph yep. he'd, be, yeah. he'd be he's that much like he just wouldn't want to let you down like yes. well we were in Poland over at Driftmasters was it any good on because I rain. was fucking raging you, 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 want, you wanted to go like it was brilliant I just got engaged and I think if I'd have said the back of like here and way to Poland that shit just when we're trying to Yep, that was our oh, honeymoon. It was your honeymoon. Yes. That is the honeymoon of that all honeymoon. Yes. honeymoon. Well, it, we it looks like I'm talking to the camera, but I'm talking to the wife. We, ju- <laughs> well, we, ju- oh, we, we, we just got engaged, and then we we're trying to get the house sorted, so like, well, there's no money left in the pot. Like, so I would just came out of the Drift Games merchandise store. I was standing. And the next thing, Dave comes, and Michelle goes, "Jimmy, Jimmy, there's Dave, there's Dave. Do you want to get a photo?" And the next thing, I turned around and I looked. I was like, "Ah, that's." The view is the same. Fifty-five thousand people, ah. massive stadium. Then at the end, I don't know if they showed it in the live stream. They had a firework show. Aye. Uh, mm-hmm. They turned off the lights and they made everyone turn on the flashes and the phones. It was brilliant. The atmosphere in there was. You could literally hear it even watching the live streams. It was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. and even I'd, you just got the live stream in English. Uh you heard the whole thing in Polish. In Polish. Percent. Yep, and it was. It added it. It was really? brilliant. Mm. Really? We didn't have a clue what the man was saying. <laughs> but whenever he got excited, we seen everybody else get excited. We got excited. <laughs> yeah, <"Pon> the boys! <laughs> uh, it, it was brilliant. I thought to myself, Jesus, these wee fans are going to be any good to get the smoke out. But they were brilliant. Did you see the video? Of the fans they put on around? No. They put on basically the giant fans. Oh, and the I big thought, extractors. Ah, yeah, they're not yeah, even extractors, yeah. they're just blowing the smoke out really the up, up the I, roof it was brilliant but I just came out of the Drift Games merchandise store and Michelle goes Jimmy Jimmy there's Dave Egan there's Dave Egan and I looked and then just behind there's Jimmy Oaks and I went fuck there's Jimmy Oaks <laughs> now, look, I've been watching my his videos for ages yes and it was like a fanboy and I was Michelle Deadly. was all who the fuck's Jimmy Oaks who the fuck's Jimmy Oaks I don't know who he is I was over and I got a photo of him and all. Michelle didn't have a clue who he was. Did you get a photo of him as well? Or a picture of him as well? I uh, didn't even know who he was, but he was an absolute gentleman. The first LZ Fest, we went to the after party. Yeah. And we were out talking to Stephen Halfordy and playing and torturing them mm-hmm. with as all the do. chat. And uh, then Jimmy came out and then, like, to be fair to him, he stood and talked to us for a good Hung 10 minutes. Oh, everybody, and like... And he was just he was just there he was just he was just at one with the boys like, like mm. we get lucky the first year that we were staying in the Osprey where all the rest of them were yeah. so like yeah. we went to breakfast the following day and Lone Star Drift was in the opposite mm-hmm. table and like we ended up drinking to four o'clock in the morning we're, with Kevin we're, we're, we're Connor Kevin and, and Stephen Halford <laughs> and all them boys it was an absolute siege it was after Poland as well it was the next night after we went to an Irish bar and we were chatting to a couple from Donna so the Rogers, they have the young boy, what do you call him? Ben. Ben Rogers, he does the drifting. Yes. Lovely family. Aye. We were sitting chatting to them and they said, right, it's time we go. So we were sitting there and there's this other woman who's, oh, are you coming come with us to this other bar? And right, okay. And she goes, Connor and Jack's there. I was like, what? So we walked into this bar and it was literally full. You had the Shanahans, you had Dwayne McKeever, you had Dar McNamara, who is another gentleman. Aye. Yes, bought, he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually bought him a beer. Yeah, it was just major <laughs> fanboy. He's he, he's a nice boy. He we I could chat I could chat into the Shanahan's at LZ Fest actually for a bit. I didn't have the balls to ask him about coming on the podcast right enough. 
I don't even you should. Know. You know what? You should go on the Draft Games podcast. I don't think we're big enough for Draft Games, but at some point I would like to chime. That's very you know flattering to think that we uh, could we appreciate could. it. You know what, actually? This is a challenge. Will Draft Games comment on this video? I, I, I don't think we'll get our hopes up. I can't say That's it. a challenge. We'll make it talking to them tomorrow. Make it mm-hmm. them tomorrow night, right? Well, we'll just get, the members get them to comment on it then. I'll say this, I'll say I'll this like, Josh. I'll slip you a 10 year old OT. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like an MOT. Do you know, to move it on, do, do any of you boys know what buck rake and silage is? No. No. <laughs> it's in Hit the Duff. It is. It is. Yep. Jack, it's a big and grape with silage and it's where they the boys it up basically the going up a big hill of grass. And there's that much wit in the back. She's lifting. There is videos of that. There is yes. videos, yes. It's well, like if you lift. The two ton of plasterboard and a forklift. It's only Aye, a ton and a half. Th- yes, pretty much. You're that. over the pivot point. Mm-hmm. Well, that. basically, I was looking up whenever I was sick a couple last week. I had nothing to do with my time, so you always be like, "Not oh. like you." You always be like, "Oh, I'd love a day where I can sit and do nothing." And then you get those days where you sit and actually you can't do nothing because you're sick and you're raging because you I'm can raging do nothing because I was like, "I have this to do and I have that to do." So. Um, I was looking back and I ended up finding a video called Classic Silage and it was from like 1987. So these boys are claiming these fucking pits and there's no cabs on any of the loaders. There's a video That's so years dangerous. Ago, there's a video years ago of an O&K shovel um, in Kerry and they're drawn on probably with 16 foot silage uh-huh. loaders and that he had no cab on Aye. it. It's um, so dangerous. You think about it, it's one of the things you hit a hole now. If you're the right man doing it, you'll not have a hole. But like they're not like you, Michael. If it was me, Michael before <laughs> tri- had had dabbled slightly in silage making. Sorry, not silage making, buck raking. And nearly put a tractor in its side. Yes. Aye. You'd wonder in a hill of grass how that could even be possible. Oh no! It, it, it can't so you be can done. make it possible. <laughs> well, but another one back to TikTok. Whilst I was also sick, any of you heard of a fella called Cowboy Cassidy? No. no, no. It's fella Cormac Cassidy. He's from Cavan Direction. He's an absolute fucking nut job, right? He's in TikTok there. Jenny, you hear the the Bing Bong song? Oh, yeah. That's well, that's him. Uh, he was the one that did the first video yeah. of that, right? I ended up on his his TikTok, and literally, it's just him. It's him. He works for some contractor. I think he drives a seventy eight forty turbo. He's a complete nut job. He's a complete hellion. <laughs> I just went through his TikToks and watching the videos. Fucking hilarious. What's the Bing Bong song or my Bing Bong Bing Bing? <laughs> it's like uh, it's uh, the original ones, like him standing looking at like a, a digger, and there's like Chinese writing or something on the side of her, and he just goes, ah, Bing Bong. Not exactly very. It's not exactly very PC like, but. Uh, <laughs> And then it just goes to like that app, bing, bing, wow, app <laughs> song. And he just starts going, bing, oh, bong, I know bing, that. bing, bing, yes. bing. Yeah, starts doing that over. There was uh, a video on Cherry Speck on Facebook as well of a boy bouncing up the road in the detour with that sound in the back. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. So, like, uh, he, so I was literally, it's just him. And he does like stuff like it's like tonight on the real grass, man. And then he just turns the camera around it's like some old boy like he's like 60 years old like trying like what's top off like <laughs> <laughs> just lifting up and smelling grass and smelling the silage like it's one of them things you just have to watch like it's so anyway yeah cowboy cast farmers actually do do that all yeah the they do it's, it's fucking hilarious and he's heard of Morn lake finders i recommend you follow them on instagram right uh he done a bit of work for me in the Is past where you got your plumbing Thoughts it's from? actually he showed me a few techniques to be fair but um like the valves and all the use but anyway he he goes and he like has all this equipment and he goes and finds leaks and he puts it all in the stories and his stories are fucking hilarious because he's a, he, he's really he's oh, smart in the way that like he's witty and he just posts up stuff like and it's so funny everything's just puns and it's so satisfying because you see him going he's like Beep, I think the leak might be here. The next video is him cutting up the floor. The next video is him digging out. You just look and see the leak. And I'm just like, this is class. The, uh, there's one on TikTok, in fairness. The pool guy. I was I, I seen calling your boy seen for him. the pool. <laughs> yes. Calling um, you guy uh, for the pool work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, never thought, hoovering the pool floor is really, really satisfying. Oh, I would oh. imagine that, actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't follow most people on TikTok, but I do follow that man. <laughs> on that. <laughs> do you know it's too late at night when you're going through Facebook and you see the video of the two wee men in the jungle building big massive huts on the <laughs> <laughs> You know it's too late at night. It's yes. time for bed when that comes up. Time <laughs> to be a spa one time, I think. You, you know, know it's everything. 
I might actually ruin this for you now, but you know all that stuff's fake. There is one. It was exposed. It was, it was exposed that they have uh, these diggers and uh, stuff that come up. You can see on. a JCB in the background. Just the slightest wee bit. Uh, like you boys, oh. if you said it, like you'd probably identify what kind of JCB it is <laughs> just by the track. But it's orange. Like it's a Hitachi. Hitachi would be a Zaxxus in modern day, or maybe a Doosan. I think it's nod. a Hitachi. Aye. Just nod. It yep. probably is a Hitachi if it's, back, that, if it's outer. Um. I was chatting to I was lunch there last week with the boys and I was chatting to a fella one of the boys saying that one of his mates it's actually a fella I know I went to school with him a lad Arden Quinn listens to us and he was like thank um, you quote, quoting Arden Pierce was telling me he's like uh, Arden, Arden's words were you know I haven't spoke to Scully properly in years but when I hear the podcast I feel like I'm speaking to him <laughs> which is actually I thought was a massive compliment yeah so good mm-hmm. man Arden thank you S- just uh, you're not replying to his answers back then? No. No, oh, fair enough. And uh, Obviously you're not. Owen Smith drives the F-130. Oh, that is Frosty. Hey, he put up a video there the other day of her uh, like a heap of potato boxes. Oh, I seen that. You'd repost it. Oh, I, I unreal, just went on to the... Unreal. That thing's some power. Like, oh, she must be, what, 200 or so at the show? Oh, it has to be. And uh, finally, a one-wheel pill. Oh. And it's me again. What the fuck <laughs> you done now? Post... <laughs> yeah, no trumpet noises, please. <laughs> Posted up on uh, Facebook of a, a week ago saying, I think my number plate's been cloned. Uh, someone's definitely cloned my number plate because this isn't me driving in this oh, day. That's right. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to read the letter. So at that other, so basically said the fine was the fine date was like the sec, the second of November or something. And I was like, oh, that's in Cook's time of work that day, so I definitely was in Dublin. You turn over to the page and go back. Down to the very bottom, and it tells you the actual date you were stuck, <laughs> which was the 13th of September, and I was heading to Cork. <laughs> <laughs> so I was driving through the well, end uh, <laughs> Sure, Gemma, the time of LZ Fest, sure, she obviously drove down west. That's right. Um, but she, and I had warned her at the time, I was like, pay them 50 total. So when I got the hotel, I paid mine. Now, Good boyfriend would have fucking paid hers too, but I went out of my head, so I just paid the sale and that was it. Good enough. Um, but she didn't receive the first letter because the letters got jumbled up with her brother in England. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Oh so she sent me this fine of, how the fuck is this 90 quid? And I was like, oh, I have never Reach seen one of them. for 90 quid, quid too. I was like, how, how the fuck? Like, normally it's what, six or seven pound? You on top of it. Turns out she didn't get the first letter. This is the fifth or sixth? Could be, yeah. Um, I don't know what she's for doing, so don't. Apparently you can get away with not paying it. I know fellas You see, I've heard boys it. saying, you can't get away with it, and I've heard just as many boys saying, you should pay you it should or pay you're it. fucked. It's the same as them smart parking tickets. What I always say is, put them there in the bin and tell them to go to hell. <laughs> it's the same company with the uh, smart parking. It's EPC, whatever. Uh, so apparently they can't enforce it. Supposedly if it's an English, if it's an English company, they... Can't technically enforce it. They, can't, they don't have bailiffs over here, you see. Yeah. So they can't, they can't repossess shit. Yeah. Do you, have you lost the stuff then as well? You come sort of prepared. Oh, I came prepared. <laughs> I take it you haven't done your homework, don't know that. I just go, I just go with the flow. Ah, good uh, <laughs> we have to cut. So the first one I want to bring up, and it's a big one wheel pill, is the abuse that gets handed out. The certain young fella. Hi, fuck. People can be online. cruel, can't they? Ah, they can yeah. be very, very cruel. Um, this young fella, he gets hey, dogs abuse. I don't want to. I don't want to make it too obvious who it is. Well, well, it's probably not a bad idea to make it somewhat obvious as well. At the same time, to be honest yeah. with Jamie, we'll just not mention names. Yes, but yeah. the person we are talking about ha- has a learning difficulty. Yes, yeah, and. Is very much just obsessed with cars. Yes, he yeah. loves them. Loves All cars, mm-hmm. everything, yeah. standard, loves standard them. cars, whatnot. Just to cut in, do you know something? See, if he didn't do what he's doing, people would be whinging because nobody would have attention for a yeah, car. Yeah, exactly. So he, like, he is. He's just him. Yeah. Unashamedly. Yeah. yeah. He's a gentleman. People too. need mm-hmm. to be mindful that not everybody is, quote unquote. I don't want to say normal because that nearly seems like an insult, but you know, people have to realise that a learning They're difficulty, a, le- a learning difficulty doesn't me- mean you're weird. A learning yeah. difficulty means you have a learning difficulty. You can't process things the same yeah. way. Yeah. Therefore, they should be treated. That should be treated with respect. Yeah. Kids that pick 
on people with learning difficulties because they're an easy target is an absolute fucking disgrace. That's all fucking uh, is. is. There's some of the stuff that's said, said to this young fella. They're having them in the group chats. Trying to bribe them to do stupid things. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna, we'll not get into yeah. that because that's um, not that's that's too per- personal. Yeah, but yeah. bribing but them to say stupid and do stupid things. Yeah. Some of the fucking things that they were saying to him, they, he had me and Donald in the group chat whenever they were taking the mic out of him. And some of the stuff was fucking hard. At least he had the common sense to do that. Aye. And I don't mean mm. that again, I don't mean that in a derogatory way, saying, yeah, yeah. but at least like at least it's so, he had he had that knowledge to to add you uh, in. Like yeah. so, him being the way he is, he could have been inclined maybe to give in to them demands. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because he wouldn't have known any difference. Exactly. Sure, I got abused the whole way free school. Whole oh, way. So did we. So did I. Uh, like I was getting like Every time I walked in the corridor, there's the gimp at videos, cars, and all that. But you just get used to it and but get over it. Like it's too always funny now, because now you could have a following because of that, uh, and the other person doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It's the, the people uh, people don't really. Then the thing is, then people that would give you shit through school would have, would actually see your TikTok and go, "Holy fuck, this Cubs got like 15k, 50k <laughs> followers." Like it's like. Then they nearly have to double down on the insults. Uh, at that stage, it's just jealousy. Uh-huh. To be fair, like I know I am fucking a bit old on it, and but like, see, whenever you see a young fella stand in the middle of the prom, you fucking you light her up for the crack of it because it makes his day. Mm-hmm. Maybe it doesn't make his day, but I think it makes his day anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Fuck see, or you drive past them, see your car's electric. Yep. <laughs> it's electric. Or you see us tape bar and go sport. <laughs> oh, that's I, thing that's the best thing to say. She only a sport lad. Then you just hear. That's it's it's the number one so trigger <laughs> thing. Any, any tape bar owner, you just see their you just, any tape bar owner, you just start seeing their eye twitch. <laughs> well, I can't afford tires, so I just say it's really a one point four. Well, you like <laughs> to put one on. So anyway, <laughs> bring that back. If you're handing out abuse to anybody. You're a fucking scumbag. Ah, uh, you're a complete Fuck twat. You. Good enough. So that's a one wheel pill. That's a big one wheel pill. Um, I'll back you in that one. I have another one. This is a big old skid. It's my love for Fate Multiples, and there's a new one. A Toyota Alfred. You literally. Did you ever see them? Yeah, yeah. There was one for sale, right? It was listed online, and it had a karaoke system in the back. <sighs> oh. Did you see the price of it? 88 grand. Oh, holy fuck. But it was like, Jesus, it was like the recliners in the back. Uh, it was fucking deadly looking. Aye, uh, but stick to the multiple. Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. I'd love the multiple. Imagine us, imagine us three cruising down the street, all three of us <laughs> in the front. <laughs> fuck, that'd be brilliant. Uh, don't look in the back. <laughs> don't look skinny enough. But, between no, put it like this here, right? I'll just lie across the back. <laughs> put it like this here, right? Did you ever go with your other halves for a picnic? And you just have... I mean, and Becca sat in the back of the P100 at the port one mm-hmm. day. And you didn't have a table? No, we used the P100. Ah, but you didn't have a table? No. Or did you bring a table away? No, okay. The middle seat in the multiplier, you fold down, it becomes a table. <sighs> Lock Chef's it badly. Kiss. And apparently this year, if you ever have two wains, they're going to argue about who sits in the front with a multiplier. Both of them can be in the front. Both of them can be in the front. She's, no a, she's, a, she's a bench. Yep. It's like a transit van, and everybody <laughs> wants a transit van. like Except when you have to sit in the middle. But it's not like that in the multiple, because it's an actual seat. Oh, I thought it was a bench. No, it's three seats. Mm. In the, it's literally three seats ah, in the front. I don't know that. Most practical car you'll ever get. Why have you not bought one? I just can't find them cheap enough. Good enough. Well. Right. Um, another one. This is going to be very controversial. Use all three of these are going to go... You're wrong. That is my fucking hatred for 306D turbos. Get out. Bye. Uh, Bye. Get out. I just Get do out. not like them. <laughs> I don't see the fascination with them. What about Zara's? It's the exact same. What's wrong with you? I don't like them. Why? Were you ever from a farming background? No. Sure. Well, that explains it. Yes. It's, I've always thought of the 306D turbo as the farmer's choice of car. Yeah. But yes. now, slowly but surely... Mark Four Golfs and Boras are taking over. Yes. yes. Yep. This is basically our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have Ronaldo driving a D yeah. Turbo and he is basically so driving a Golf. Pretty much the whole podcast now is going to descend into chaos because I've said that. You're completely wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which is why I'm friends with says the exact same thing. And then as soon as I say, oh, 306 is a class, he'll know <laughs> what I'm on about too. He goes, but sure, you can buy a 205 and it's a rally car. <laughs> I, I I had a I had a friend once and she was like 
Scully, I can't believe you've bought a 306, fuck's sake. And I was like, I'll let you drive her some night. I was up in Belfast, she lived in Belfast at the time. And I was like, I'll let you drive her some night. And we would, so I was like, go on, jump on, let's go around. I was up sort of around the city centre and all around uh, yeah. Queens. And uh, she was driving and she just went, do you know what? It's just like, there's just something about it. See the way she's so blippy between gears yeah. and all and the smoke and everything. If you drive one, I know they're only like a 92 horsepower uh-huh. fucking 1.9 diesel, like manual pump car, like... But there's just something about them. See when you're sitting in a lowered 306 mm-hmm. and you're that you're a young age, like if she was the same, she was like this. She's like, there's just something cool about this. And I was like, I'm telling you. Like, it's a throttle response for the blips. It's unreal. So no, it's you just clearly gin, haven't gin, driven gin, one. Gin, <laughs> <literally>. <laughs> and I n- in fact, I was void I'd never owned a 306. Right. There was a boy I was mates with, raffling one. Yes. It was a bonus ball raffle. Uh-huh. You yes, bought a ticket? I f- yeah, I bought a ticket. <laughs> Just because I was friends with him, I thought, you know what? Guess what I fucking won. <laughs> see, if you actually, see if you actually had a win. Pardon me, and actually drove it. I did. Well, I'm surprised. I did every second of it. In fact, I sold it to a boy. Are you despising it for the fact just to despise it? Are you sure you no. didn't get a HDA? I don't know what it was. It said 306 in the back. It was a D-Turbo. I <laughs> could say D-Turbo, but a D-Turbo might have been the trim. I don't know. So anyway... I sold it to a boy from Carrick Fergus, and did you ever see the fella? He's got the tattoo in his arm with a 306 raking, and it says, No smoke, no poke on the right. Mm, uh, did you sell it to this boy? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. He came and he bought it. <laughs> he is a true D Turbo enthusiast. I'm trying to mind his name now. He no, I, don't I mean, think I'm a D Turbo right. enthusiast, but he definitely yes, trumps the D Turbo enthusiast. for two seconds. I need to go for a bit. <laughs> That's right, break the fourth wall. So, for anyone coming back, uh, oh, Jamie's done it for me. Good I enough. Know. Do you like that? So, uh, I'm just going to do a Michael impression. Oh, just Jamie was doing it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Sorry, Jamie. Sorry. So, for anyone coming back to the podcast, Dono has just went for a piss. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's nailed it. He's nailed my fourth wall break. A Ain't prime it? piss. A prime piss. <laughs> Are you anything else saying on your list? Oh, you have the phone away. Jesus I Christ. Don't. I think I know him. We haven't chatted enough of it. Which one? Good enough. Donegal. Donegal Rally. Jesus, me and Connor have talked about it, Flumber. I fucking uh, can't wait for it. All oh, right, all oh, right. right. Statement, Bosom. Cannot. Donegal Rally is genuinely one of the best weekends of the year. It is hundred percent. It is. It's the closest thing we get to really a car festival. In yeah. my eyes, yeah. you know, we don't get a water sea. We don't have like a festival of speed or anything like that. You know, or any of them big American things. Mm-hmm. Yes, you could argue Rally of the Lakes, but... I think that's kind of... I don't want to say died, but it's not as popular as it once no, was. Because I remember I used to see videos of... It's boys. still big. Is it still big? It is uh, big, it's, yeah. Know, it was always mainly South people that went down, but... Uh, I know Donegal is... Now, I could be completely wrong here, but I'm fairly certain, certain Donegal is the last three-day rally in Ireland. Possibly, actually. I don't actually. think there's any more. Possibly. Mm-hmm. So Donegal, like the thing is, and we've done it ourselves, like, but I would like to go and see stages, but every year we've went to Donegal and never seen a single rally car other than driving through the town. Like, the thing is, if you do go and see a stage, you're stuck there for two hours. That's yeah. it. That's it. What one thing I would love to do and we don't do it enough is actually going out to the likes of Nokella and all night time. You know, yeah. and even going and closing off the road. <laughs> and uh Stuff like that, because I haven't had a haven't had the balls or b haven't had the car. Mm. So that's something I'd love to go and do a bit of. Actually, like you know, you see like drift games do the videos of it, even in the Netherlands and Japan mm. and all they have that, and that's prime time for likes of us and for you yeah. as a content creator to get some really really good good shit. Like I remember, Troublemakers done a run up Nakala one day. They did, I. And there was know your boy Dylan Commons. Yes, he was in the top the, sixteen the, of King of Blue Chaser. That is that's that probably was uh, one of the between it and was it he, was it. Ethan something's the like S14. 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 Nathan they were, Ellis. Nathan to be Ellis fair, they, I think they were the two cars at Donegal. Yeah. There, they, were, they were our favourite cars at Donegal. Nathan Ellis's mm. did everything. Was bagged, mm. deft, like, and that chaser down Commons is just class. Like, he can steer, but he I, is an absolute pilot. I have a video of him on that run. Mm-hmm. He just coming up. Full sideways. Just latches her and just fall away around the corner still flicking up back and forth the road Hon, and then latches her again that. as he comes into the top corner and keeps yeah. her lit he, he is a pilot mm-hmm. also 
just coming off it. You've done a podcast uh, after only all, didn't you? We did one pre Donegal and one post Donegal. Post Donegal, yeah. he's mentioned me in my airbox. We did. Adam LZ hasn't signed it. I, t- I screwed it off and talked to the LZ festival, and then I sent the queue and I went, Ah. Uh. No. So. We've signed it though, so. And he had a friend who had an extra meet and greet pass. <laughs> yep. Who? Me, I had a spare one. I didn't fucking know that. <laughs> I did. <tell> you. Fuck <laughs> sake. Fuck. Did you get one through media? Or? No, I. We stood for an hour, but then they said they all saying that uh, they're just going to give out these wristbands. And I was like, oh, I didn't get one, but stuck in my pocket kind of job to give day one of the boys that wasn't there. But then we couldn't find anyone, like. Right. Because, no the way, like, at Mondello, whenever so much people, oh, you, no you data. Oh, you can't get oh, anybody. Yeah, yeah. No yeah one. you can't get anything, like. Mm-hmm. No, so, I'm looking forward to doing it all, like. Mm-hmm. That's... On my airbox now, I have... And see, as long as nobody does be a prick at it, mm-hmm. the guards just don't care. Uh, the guards it's are, the yeah. one time where if you're revving your car or you're... The guards are enjo- turning a blind eye to it. Basically, you know, yeah. You know the one thing I've seen at Donegal this year and I thought that is fucking scandalous? Is I this the weekend of the rally? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the weekend it's of the rally. Saturday night. you're saying the else and the next takes a little bit. Uh, this is the only thing that I looked at and went, that's a bit of a dick move there. Was we were all spilled out in the lane, and the traffic was down slow. It's down in one lane. Yeah, down in one lane. And I remember it was a bus iron bus coming through. And there's an emergency stop on the side. Yeah. The bus had driven about a foot. Someone reached out and went and killed the engine. So that then, the driver had to get off the bus, come out, switch it back on, and he got another foot down the road. And they killed it again. Now that happened maybe five or six times until did you see the top was spoiled on the boat? No. There was a top was spoiled on the boat. Uh, with Rick Oliver oh. he actually came and had to stand beside the bus and hold his hand over it oh, fair mm-hmm. the stop boys and turn it off that is a big one wheel pill that man was just doing a job I know mm-hmm. I'm not with that either it's like any time I know in the Civic she's low enough so you're stuck with speed bumps mm-hmm. but see if a taxi man runs by and you I'd pull it out of the way to let them go ah, by you because he, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's a job to do he's put, he's put bread and butter on the table exactly hey, I'll be honest with you I think we've been rambling on yes. for long enough. Uh, I think mm-hmm. we'll call it a night. Mm-hmm. Yes, but bedtime. <laughs> so we'll do all the socials here. Don't know, we'll hit you first because you're the big uh, cheese in the conversation here. So TikTok, Donal. Uh, That's Dole as in uh, Dole, D O L E. <laughs> and then Instagram at Donalhomes15. Snapchat. If you're over 18 and female, don't know who's 15. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then uh, that's that's it. What about you? Me, I don't really use Instagram, like, so I won't even bother giving you that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle's just said he's not allowed to give it a Snapchat. TikTok, so. I actually, this is how much I use TikTok. I need to look up and see what my username is. It's at Keys. two J's. Uh, <laughs> You've done that on Facebook too. Yeah, I know. Connor, what are you? I'm Connor Dot McGoo and all stuff. And I am M Scott M, M no, no. <laughs> Michael I'm doesn't know the name. <laughs> Michael Scull underscore on everything. So TikTok and the blah blah. And if you want to follow the podcast, it's limited slip differences on, on everything as well. Thanks very much, lads, for coming well, all the way down here. It's been awesome. a pleasure having you. One last thing before we go. Oh. I have a shout out to give out. Yes. Okay. It's to the the Tuesday night club. Okay. Mm-hmm. Monica, Charlie, Linda, Donica, me and Michelle, and Donal. Mm-hmm. Tuesday night club. Tuesday night club. There Keep we have, folks. Keep her lit. And on that note, best of luck. Good Take luck. it easy, boys. Good day. <laughs>